War no peace, only war indeed, chat. Uh, yeah, we're going to be playing France with the ultimate crisis mode enabled. That means that every endgame scenario is going to be happening. And we're going to be doing it on maximum difficulty. So that means that we will have... Oh, that's weird. I can hear myself. Sorry. One second. One second. There we go. There we go. But yeah, um, it's going to be maximum difficulty. We'll be declaring war on everyone. Max... Among uh, end game difficulty, and hopefully it goes well. We're gonna be playing as friends. No, we're not going to abandon Old Dorf, and we're not gonna do. We're gonna try and avoid cheese where we can. Hopefully, hopefully this doesn't end in disaster though. But I think we have a decent chance here. Captain John Map, hello. I see, I see you are a member. So let's go ahead and get you part of the army. If you want to give a prediction for how long you'll actually last, feel free to. I expect, uh, I think, you, you, you know, you'll you'll probably be fine. I do have a bit of a game plan, too, so. Should be good. Yeah, the nation calls. Well, I don't know if the nation calls. They're they're mobilizing against me. That's, uh, that's going to be the difficult part. What's the general strategy? Well, uh, we're mainly going to be bunkering down around Altdorf. Like I said, we want to be controlling this region. And then probably... Probably heading southish, because I think this border is a little bit easier to defend. Yes, we'll get some green skins and such. Um, I would prefer to stay away from the north, since I'd rather have chaos pushing their way down south to remove the the empire forces. And then, of course, we're just going to be beelining it to that known steam tank as fast as possible. I think that's going to be pretty important for us uh, if you want to win. All right, nice. Sigmar protects. I will be fine. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Given your gusto, I'll give you a, a great sword then. Captain John Map, welcome to the crew. Luperden, hello. I'll give you uh, Luperden. I'll give you an art an artillery piece unless you have any, unless you have a particular unit that you want to take over. We will be going for a ton of um, free company militia, by the way. Should be pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and get our camera settings nice and fast while I wait for your choice and then we'll be good to go. Is there still no uh, This Is Total War mod? Oh, I have no idea. I I'm just, I'm just going to do mod list for now since it's, uh, you know, a little bit easier. Maybe it's not easier, but um, it requires less setup on my part. Yeah, the, the turn... The, the turn the crisis is coming is between turn 10 and 20, which is uh, pretty soon, pretty soon. We might just get overrun, we'll see. Um, we gotta really bunker down at Altdorf if we want to, if we want to have any chance of surviving. I will play this battle too, just to make sure that we don't get uh, bad auto-resolves later. Hopefully I'll be able to auto-resolve the city battle, then that'll be good. Although I do have a big, uh, I do have a big fight with Nuln in a bit, so... We'll see. <laughs> you want to be the mortars. I'm on it, man. As soon as we're done this battle. Alright, so first battle is going to be quite easy for us. Nothing too crazy here. We just got to get our handguns firing, mostly. Franz, of course, can just move on forwards and get as much damage as he can. You know, blob up the enemy. The usual. The usual. Get these guys into handgunner range. Nice. Nice. Alright, this is a good time for the mortar to fire over there. Get the knights onto those there. Crossbowmen. Friends. Doing great. Nice. Very easy battle. We should have extremely few losses too. And then, um, let's see. These guys might live on the retreat. So we'll sort of... We'll see how that goes. Maybe if I kill off their lord. That'll make things a little bit better here. Come on. Take them down. Take him down. He should be... Yeah, there we go. There he goes. And then hopefully the handgunners can finish him off. If not, that's alright. We can make do. Um, don't want to friendly fire. And then hopefully... Uh, hopefully this mortar doesn't friendly fire too much this... This battle. Oh, he's so low. He's so low. And... Come on. Oh my gosh, he's gonna make it out. Oh. Yeah, no, he's out of there. It's fine. Decides a victory. I'll take it. Zero losses on this battle or you're doomed. Dang it. 
Aeolus. How could you? How could you? Oh no, it was the one handgunner, I think. Oh, it was friendly fire? Did we friendly fire with the mortar? Oh, I think we friendly fired with the handguns on our cavalry. Dang, it's over, guys. It's over. All right, nice. Pretty good fight. Let's go ahead and get the money. Yeah, that's when we fire. Campaign movement range. It's amazing. Let's go ahead and rename this guy. Loop and There we go. Nice. Yeah, we lost one night. So that was a very, very good battle for us. I'm going to go straight to Logician. Because surely we're going to be fighting a lot of battles. And we want to make sure that... Uh, whoops. Yeah, we're going to be fighting a lot of battles and we want to make sure that we're going to heal after each one of them. There we go. The Empire has rebelled against us. But we are the true holders of Altdor. They are all just secessionists. Summon the Elector Count. Yeah, well, they're being summoned to, uh, to our capital, that's for sure. Of course, the War of the Dwarves can start. Dwarves in particular are going to be terrifying because, of course, they... Uh, well, yeah, yeah, the dwarves are, are going to be part of the endgame crisis. So, no idea how I feel about that. I guess we'll we'll see if we can beat them. I do have access to handguns. Steam tank, of course, is going to be good. And uh, I wonder if the endgame crises will fight each other. I have no idea. Because, like, Sylvania is going to be coming for me, too. So, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. And Tissy, can you do it without range unit spam? I'm going to be going for mixed armies, yeah. At least where I can. Um, it really depends. Really, really depends. All right, nice. So let's go ahead and take Runberg. Pyrrhic victory. I'm going to play it instead. I want to make sure that I'm as strong as possible in these early battles. Because it's really easy to to uh, underestimate the endgame. And how how insane it can be. Our, like We're going to be constantly needing to replenish. I don't think it, it'll... I don't think it'll give us any amount of leeway. So we're going to be trying our best here to, to be efficient. Zenturio, thank you very much for the five uh, euros. May the Imperial Treasury use these coins for some trick shots involving Hellstorm missiles. Dang. I'll see if I can do it. Hellstorm missiles are... Uh, do they actually have good trajectories? Because I know mortars have absolutely terrible trajectories. But I will do my best, good sir. I'll do my best. Let the manual fire go. Let's see. Come on. There we go. And... Oh, two... Oh, okay. The mortars are actually... They actually fire pretty high now. That's good to see. All right. Well, anyways. Let's go ahead and get this business going. Uh, first order of business. We want to take out those towers. Don't want them doing too much damage. And then the mortars can just go ahead and probably just fire at those archers. Is this insane difficulty? Yeah, this is this is the most difficult uh, difficulty setting we can have in vanilla in vanilla Warhammer without imposing some other sort of weird restriction. Yeah, it doesn't get it doesn't get much harder than this. Um, yeah, we we would have to have some sort of self-imposed restriction, which I guess we already do. We want to hold Alt Door, so yeah. Could be... We, we might get annihilated instantly. I feel like we have a pretty decent chance, though, right? We're the Empire. Uh, let's see. Where are my great swords at? Here we go. Go get them, John Map. Uh, Looperdin. Well, Looperdin, you're, you're the mortars. <laughs> All right. There we go. Nice. And then France is just blocking up the construction over here. We got the great swords going away. Nice. Yeah. This is looking good. Uh... Lecherous Cthulhu saying any word on fixing any word on fixing the Empire campaign issues um, Didn't see all CA already had uh, a fix right? Creative Assembly had their had their fix which was um, What was it they made it where like the first elector count that's lost doesn't count towards losing your authority Because like Festus just <laughs> annihilates them right off the bat so, I don't know, maybe that's like a little bit of a fix. Doesn't really affect us in this campaign, but there you go. Maybe that's sufficient, maybe not. Okay, there we go. Enough mortar fire. And there's the city. Pretty simple. We lost a few great swords, but nothing that can't be replenished post-haste. What's the plan if you lose Altdorf? Uh, I, then I gotta retake Altdorf. <laughs> retake Altdorf or die. 
if it turns out that it's impossible to win this without abandoning Altdorf, then I will, but um, we're, we're gonna at least get murdered in one campaign trying to hold our capital. Something weird with shooting towers, AI. Unless you order them to come closer, they'll stand at the very edge. Oh, good to know, good to know. So I should be moving up a little bit further. Very nice, very nice. But alright. Here we go. We got our first settlement, Grunberg. Mini garrison over there. Altdorf's gonna be a weird one. Because they don't actually come with a... It doesn't come with something to upgrade our garrison. We just have to upgrade the city itself. So hopefully we can get that as fast as possible. As for friends... I'm going to global recruit some free company militia. And then after a couple turns, they should spawn a second army at Nuln, and then I can go ahead and fight them in an open field. Should make life a little bit easier, though definitely not by that much. Uh, oh yes, I forgot. I should, I should make recruitment a little bit cheaper. Here we go. So making recruitment cheaper is obviously very important as we're going to be fighting a lot of battles, and I'll probably be losing units here and there that we'll want to replace. I will also like to, since we are going a lot of free company militia, uh, I do want ammo. There we go. Is this series going to be two parts long? It's probably going to be many parts long, uh, unless we get just annihilated at the very beginning. But I want to have at least a few shots at this campaign, just because I feel like it is quite fun. But all right, here we go. Amassing our army. Ah, 24. There we go. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> can I can I complete a campaign in 24 parts on the Immortal Empires map? It's way bigger. But if I don't get stalled up as long as I did last time, then maybe it's fine. Ah, yes. We can't we can't even arrange a tour for ourselves. No prestige. What a shame. But all right. That is about all the free company we're going to need. If they take a little bit longer to get their next army, that's fine. But we want to get Nuln as fast as possible so we can continue. Uh, so we can sort of wipe out as many factions as we can around us. Nice, but I think for now we're just going to keep on recruiting. I think we're going to be lucky if it's one part long. And not if I end the stream now. Nah, come on. Don't you have faith in the in the free company militia? Come on, they're great. Look at these guys. All right. Onwards to Nuln. Pyrrhic victory. Now, that would lose us everything. I would rather just... Uh, I'd rather just play this battle. Here we go. Fight battle. So, this battle... This battle's gonna be... How good are free company? They're okay. <laughs> I think uh, if you upgrade them with your... Uh, with, what's it, warrior priests, they can be nice. On Franz's army, they're a little bit less important. I think Franz, I mostly want to focus on sort of like a cavalry skirmish core. And then I can offload these free company free militia company! onto another guy. All right, now ammunition's going to be important. So they're going to be focusing these guys as they get onto the battlefield. Franz is just going to go and duel this guy. It's like, okay, no, he's, I thought he was called Volkmar. It says he, he's Volgar... Volkman. There we go. Very suspiciously close. We got someone trying to take the place of Volkmar. We will have none of it. Alright, and here we go. Uh, let's see. There we go. Put these guys on nine. Alright, so I want to push forward as fast as possible. Get the friends onto this guy since friends, of course, he has the melee attack booster. He should be able to take him out nice and fast. And then the free company are just going to head right over there. And let's start. There we go. Pretty good cavalry charge. Franz is in there. Let's buff his melee attack. And I believe... Nice. We still have 30 seconds. And he's basically gone. Sweet. Franz can leave him. 11 seconds. Let's get this artillery a little bit closer. And I basically want to kite the enemy here. We have a ton of free company. They're insanely fast. They should be able to do that all right. And here they come. All right, where are those archers? Yeah, first things first. We want to get a little bit of damage on those crossbowmen. They are a little bit problematic for my sort of kite style play. So getting a little bit of poke down on them will be good. If they do retreat off the map right away, that's also quite good for us. Since, of course, it means that they... Uh, 
Well, we don't have to deal with them. And honestly, I don't mind fighting them in a settlement battle. What makes this the hardest campaign? Um, the fact that we are declaring war on everyone. The fact that we have the endgame crises all enabled. And also the fact that uh, we're going to be trying to hold Altdorf on top of all of that. Gonna be pretty crazy. Gonna be pretty crazy. Oh man, I think that was a little bit of a misplay going for those crossbows. I took a lot of damage there. Should be fine though. Should be fine. I'm going to see if I can loop around here. I think my Empire Knights aren't really going to do great against this guy. I'd rather honestly just pull back a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pull back a bit. We're gonna go for the kite. This guy's gonna rally, but that's okay. And the Empire Knights are just gonna wreak havoc on these crossbowmen. Here we go. Keep pulling back over here. Get the artillery going. Get friends get it going in there too. And then probably I can get my free company militia to go in. Yeah, this is legendary. Yes. This is legendary very hard. These are Reichsguard. Ah, yeah, yeah. Did I call them Empire Knights? Sacrilege. Absolute sacrilege on my part. All right, here we go. Artillery piece is going to be lowering the leadership of these guys. We have a couple crossbowmen here that I have to worry about. Nothing too crazy, though. And then I want to keep this artillery position. Our handguns are going to turn fire into these swordsmen. Nice. Archers are running away. And yeah, I think I think we're, we're fairly set here. Your formations are sort of in disarray right now. I just have to be very careful about how I sort of take my fights here. There's a few fights that are bad for us, and I really want to make sure that this mortar stays alive. Here we go. Lots of flank shots into these guys. Of course, it's very good. And I think it's about time we get the great swords in there. If I can get these guys to rout off as soon as possible, that would be great. Since as soon as that happens, I'll be able to... Ooh, actually, it's a pretty good mortar position. As soon as I get that to happen, I can move my Empire Knights. And then overrun this archer group that's giving me a hard time. Come on, Empire Knights. There we go. They're doing great. Franz is running these guys down. And then once these crossbowmen are done, I can actually start shutting down their artillery piece. Looks like they're going to be getting onto mine, though. A little bit sketchy, but here we go. Finally onto these crossbowmen. Oh, there we go. Good job, Reichsguard. You're doing good. The mortar's going down. Our mortar is shut down, but not completely out of the picture just yet. And with my free company militia, I can have this one chase this unit, this one chase this unit, and then they're basically constantly firing while I, while I, uh, while they try to catch me. It's a pretty good strat. Over here, our handguns can start supporting our guys. Of course, flank shots are great. In fact, I think it'll be better to free up the mortar. Let's go ahead and get that freed up. And then I think we're fine. Here we go. Mortar is finally going down. And most of their crossbows are finally shut down. Just one of them left, and then we're good to go. Yeah, the mortars are fine. The mortars are fine. I would love to steal their artillery piece, though. But uh, the odds are unlikely. Odds are quite unlikely, unfortunately. Nice. That's a unit down. We can focus these swordsmen now. These guys can start getting onto those crossbowmen. Our flank shots have done great for us. Absolute wonders, and these handguns can start finishing off their generals. Yeah, this is a one battle. Now, let's not get too feisty here. Typically, I would start time scoring speed, and that's when I would just start losing units left, right, and center. So, we're going to be a little bit careful. Just take it nice and easy. Get this artillery piece back up, and keep kiting with these free company militia. Come on, there we go. Artillery piece is here. Manual fire into that blob. France just chasing off some crossbows. Nice. All right, there we go. What's the percent of stealing artillery? I think it's 10%. Pretty sure it's 10%. Uh, I don't think we're getting... I think we're a bit too close. Oh, there we go. There's the shots. <laughs> Huge damage on that blob. Jeez, that was good. I'll take it. I'll take it. Good surround over here. Looks like the great swords are doing fine for themselves. And let's see here. Yeah, we got this guy. We can chase him down with our free company. I just have to be careful not to lose any of my great swords. I'm sort of fine losing my free company, but the great swords are oh so important. How do you steal artillery pieces? All you gotta do is all you gotta do is win a battle and wipe out their artillery, and then you have a 10% of stealing it if if you're the same faction. It's a little bit weird. 
it, it's a strange mechanic too because a lot of the time you, your army doesn't have enough uh, open spaces for for you to actually get an artillery so it's an easily missed mechanic sadly all right nice there's the army losses Ooh, all right now of course we want to run down as many of these guys as possible don't want any of them uh, we want as few of them as possible in the upcoming settlement battle so that's going to be very important nice artillery uh, taking out those guys and then, as long as most of them are down, the following fight should be pretty easy. A lot of my guys will be healing up, too, post-battle. And... There we go! Pretty good! Pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, you need to have a, an open army slot, so like a full 20 stack won't be able to do it. Nice! Nice! Look at that! 2 to 1 losses. Or 1, one to 2 losses. Great swords. Uh, they only did okay. Actually, the Halberdiers did surprisingly well. I guess because they were chasing down a routing unit. Of course, handguns were great. Nice. And and the cavalry is going to be a big winner today. I think we will probably go pretty heavy cavalry on France. I believe he has buffs for Reichsguard? Let me double check. Let's see here. France, what do you got? France has, let's see, upkeep for Reichsguard. And then recruit rank for Empire Knights. So nothing too crazy. Nothing extraordinary on the friends, but I'll still take it. Hey, Kaiser Wilhelm, hello! Point, point 0.86 of a McDonald's meal. <laughs> thank you so much for the $5. Yeah, it was basically a full McDonald's meal. Right, Honestly, thank on, you very much. That helps a lot. Think, uh, enjoy. Thanks for the content. It's been great, man. Hey, look at that. We can just auto-resolve. Now, I don't think we'll have too many big battles in the, new f in the near future. So I will just auto this. Casualties medium. Not too bad. Not too bad. We only lost uh, half of our army. <laughs> All right. Nice, nice, nice. There we go. We're going to occupy this. And then the shenanigans shall begin. So we can go ahead and pick up this guy. Movement range. Always pretty good. Let's see. Does this guy have upgrades for free company? I don't think he does. I think it, it might just be Volkmar, unfortunately. But... I will be going for the Grand Soul Fire on him. Very, very important. And then we're going to appoint him to this Elector Count position. This will instantly give him a pretty nice item. And this will also give Franz access to this. The Emperor's Wrath. That's right. So, such a fitting name for this campaign. It's going to be here to, uh, to bring our wrath onto the Empire. And hopefully... Hopefully it, it never dies. Uh, well, if, as long as you hold Nuln, we'll be getting more too. So I think this, this is going to be our key unit for us winning it here. France can also start getting some archers. This guy can start getting some free company. And then I believe we can just start... Ah, does this guy really need free company? I think we'll get one free company, dump it into France's army, and then disband this guy. We don't really need his... We only need them for the Elector Count slot right now and nothing else. 1,000 upkeep. You better hold better hold a few turns. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit. It's a little bit expensive, ain't it? <laughs> you know what? We'll, we'll attack with it this turn. It's fine. It's fine. Here we go. Oh, Emperor's cool. Wrath. Yeah, we can, get it, uh, we can get it sieging this city right away. Now, they do have an army. It's not especially strong, and it's all the way north. So, I think we can go ahead and just take Kemper Bed. Let's go ahead and go there. Nice. Now, we can't auto that just yet, so we're going to encircle. Oh, yeah, I got to get that sacking bonus, the sacking economy. Let's see, where's the sacking economy? Oh, dang. France doesn't have extra money from sacking? That's a shame. Unless, unless it's like uh, one of these. Ancillaries. Nah, we already got both. Alright, here we go. Champion Gonna go here, drop off this guy, and then Lurpies. will it give me an auto resolve? Nah, we're gonna have to play the battle. It's fine though. Emperor's Wrath is gonna dominate here. Yeah, it's it's insanely expensive though. Oh my goodness. But it's a form of terror, and that is so important for us here right now because France does not yet have Deathclaw. So we really wanna we really wanna squeeze this early game this early game value while well, while we can. The question is too now is who do is should I start just building up the empire? 
Or should I start taking out factions? Because I believe, I believe building up the Empire is probably the better way to go. You know, um, taking out factions from what I experienced last time I played a campaign like this didn't really do too well for me. It just sort of, uh, it just sort of ended in, in just more factions aggroing onto me. So I think we'll probably just go for just, just the slow build. Yeah, Grenadiers will be great. Oh, and I talk about Empire Generals. The melee lord is just so bad. Yeah, he, he's not too great. All right, now I gotta be really careful here. These towers are gonna be a pain. I have to make sure that it doesn't do too much damage to my steam tank here. As long as we sort of keep on juking it with it, we'll be fine. Franz is gonna be pulling aggro because he'll be healing quite a bit in a second. And then we should be fine. We'll just push straight towards the middle. Here we go. Pretty good route over there. Archers are getting on in. And then the steam tank to start terror routing these guys. Very nice. Archers to deal with these guys. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Yeah, build up the empire. Yeah, I don't want to aggro like, you know, the Bretonians again. Definitely don't want to aggro Festus either. There's a lot of scary things just outside our borders. Like fighting the Elector Counts is the least of our worries right now. Which is a little bit terrifying, a little bit terrifying. There we go, we should get a terror route on these spearmen in a second. Very good. Nice. Kicking out factions is going to happen by itself through the crisis. Ah, very good point. Very good point. Yeah, we have to prep for the crisis. I completely forgot that that was incoming too. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. The endgame crises are... Let's see, I think the Wood Elves will actually be less scary than you think. Wood Elves fall pretty hard to mass cavalry. And I can get a cavalry building in about uh, three turns-ish. What is much more scary for me probably is... I would say very likely the... What is more scary for me? Probably the dwarves. The dwarves are a menace. It's not like we can't kill the 20 stacks. But we need very specific units to do so. And in the early game, we don't really have that. Our main tool against them is probably just going to be the steam tank, honestly. So we'll see. We'll see. I hope I don't have to go for steam tank kite shenanigans, but uh, we'll do. We'll, we'll sort of increase the, the cheese as needed. Laurelin elves will be more of a problem. I honestly don't think the elves will be that bad. If anything, they'll probably clear out a lot of factions. I don't think their economy is going to be that ramped up, right? I don't know. Do you guys think the elves are... You guys really think the elves are going to be going to be the worst? Let's see here. Let's let's do a poll right now. Who will who will be the worst? Let's see here. Uh wood elves? Huh, green skins? And then uh let's see what else. What else is there? Green skins. Oh, vampires. And then uh dwarfs. There we go. How you guys? How you guys feeling about this? I'm I'm really interested to see what people think because uh, a few of these crises I haven't played yet, which will be quite interesting. I'll be experiencing some of them for the first time, so maybe I'll just be completely unprepared. 47% dwarves with wood elves in second place. Oh right, yeah, it seems like you guys know what's up. <laughs> the dwarves with their crazy iron breaker stacks, just a million armor. Gonna be pretty spicy. Oh, looks like these guys are coming out. Gonna get the steam tank in on them. There we go, get that AoE going. Wow, that actually did pretty good damage. Okay, nice. There we go, that's army losses. Cool. Pretty nice battle, not too many losses. Decisive victory, too. Vampires will be the worst. They're bottom, they're bottom tier in terms of in terms of being the worst right now. Uh, I, I, I honestly, I would agree that the dwarves are probably going to be bad. Yeah, the handgunners. I, I think I'll need, I'll need a lot of cavalry. I'll need the steam tank, of course, too. A lot of artillery. And then sort of just kite them. Kite them with my own handgunners. Iron drakes, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're pretty spicy. Alright, so I could... I don't intend to hold this settlement. So, honestly, loot and occupy, not too bad. There we go. And then we can disband this guy because he's just sort of eating up my money. Nice. We're in the positive, guys. We're in the positive. And over here, I can... There we go. Stable. So, the source of Empire Knights and Pistoliers. 
These guys won't be especially good right now, but they're going to be extremely good once the Wood Elves come knocking. So I, I definitely need this. And then I need to, and that will just sort of start getting my armies ready for the I'm impending, the impending doom. Irre uh, what's it? Ir irrepressible is going to be great for friends. Going to make sure that he heals up to full after every battle. Nice. And nice. Things are going pretty well. You know, honestly, this is... This is this is looking great. I, I would say we're very stable right now. Oh man, but the end game is gonna end games are gonna totally mess us up. Of course, Altdorf is going to be a little bit exposed uh, at some point. I would like to start getting an army going over there, but not yet, not yet. We just want to sort of secure this region, take out the rebels first. A quest has been issued. Not gonna lie, first read it as irresponsible or irresponsible. That's great. Hey, nice. And then, uh, oh, what is it? Oh, it's the Norse skin battle. I remember this one being stupid easy, so that's gonna help us out. Um, let's see here. Where is my border over here? If I want to attack this, okay, yeah, I can just go through here. And then we can go ahead and start doing the quest battle. We're too poor. We're too poor for the quest battle. You know what? Stables can wait another yes. time. It's gonna be delayed a turn, but I don't think I'll be so. I don't think I'll be getting my guys there just yet. Not just yet. Nice. Pyrrhic victory. This this battle's like the easiest thing in the world. Not a problem. And it gives us replenishment, I think, for winning it. But yeah, it's sort it's it's sort of weird. I think it's like what? Oh wait, no, this is slightly different. This is slightly different. I thought this was the one where they're coming from the coastline. Yeah, make some money with this battle, too. Yeah. We need to get our economy going. But I think most of it's just going to be from... Most of it's just going to be from uh, from fighting. <laughs> oh, no, it is a coast, coast battle. Never mind. The map the map lied. All right, here we go. So, yeah, th this one, it's it's really funny. Because in this battle, the, the units, they pop onto the map one at a time. But the triggers are like so messed up for this battle that they just take ages to show up. Um, it's like one of the first Warhammer battles that, or like one of the first quest battles that was ever, ever created. And it just ends up being super easy because the waves are so far spaced apart that, uh, that you just completely army wipe them before, before any of the reinforcements show up. Yeah, it's fun though. It's fun. Yeah, I'm doing very good, Zash. I'm doing great. All right, here we go. Steam tank away. We're going to do melee mode steam tank. Great way to get a ton of value off of it just because of the terror routes. It's a much better melee tool than it is a range tool. There we go. Big old AoE. Hopefully going to route off many of those guys and pull the pistoliers back. Of course, they're very fast, so they'll be fine. And then our handgunners can get a fire in. Well, well, that happens, and friends can just go over here, snipe out their general, and we're fine. Honestly, uh, the reinforcements are going to show up for a while, so I might as well, t I might as well start speeding up the battle now while we're at it. There we go. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off. Get some steam tank shots into him. The uh, cannon on the steam tank is what you want to use for. For single entities, and then you go into melee for infantry. Steam tank's just a great all-purpose tool. But yeah, you can see, like, we've already wiped out this army. And, like, the next army's nowhere to be seen. But they'll they'll get here eventually. <laughs> oh, they will. You just wait and see. Here they come. Yeah, this was a very interestingly designed um, quest battle. I don't know if they broke it accidentally, or, or if this is how it used to be back in the day. Any old school Warhammer 1 players? Anyone anyone from the old times that can fill in for me? Cuz this feels like this feels like strange design, but you know, in the early days CA was very sort of fresh to the fresh to uh to designing, you know, battles for Warhammer, right? I guess they might have had quest battles for their earlier games though, so maybe I'm wrong. All right, here we go. Not having a free battle wizard is a huge loss. Oh yeah, that battle's like bugged, right? Yeah, I just don't have a... I like don't get a, a battle wizard till later. I don't know exactly how that bug plays out, but I've heard about it. It's fine though, it's fine. This can become a no magic one, you know? Who needs cheese? Who needs cheese when you can have cavalry? 
I think they might have moved the reinforcement points, but that's it. Dang, okay. Well, yeah, look at this. It's we're already seven minutes into the battle. Seven minutes into the battle, and we fought we fought the two armies. Some quest battles uh, were also just removed. Dang, that's weird. I wonder, maybe they were just buggy. Hopefully they get re-added, though. That's a bit sad. Always a shame to lose out on content. Okay, nice. We got, uh, what's it? A single Marauder Horseman. Terrifying. Here we go. They continue like the tide itself. Coming once every time the moon gets too close. All right, here we go. Now, these guys, uh, these guys are a little bit more numerous, so they should give me a tiny bit of a harder time, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Let's go ahead and kill this caster. I remember in Turin's... I remember in Turin's campaign that, uh, the caster gave him a lot of trouble with the spell casting, so I'm just gonna focus fire him down. Make sure he's not too much of an issue. Nice. And then we can get our concaves going as per usual. Very nice. Yeah, Carl going in for the bonk. Yeah, I should get I should get Carl friends on that guy. Look at that pretty nice AOE on my there uh, On my archers Okay, nice. Wow. This guy took so much damage. He has 80 armor. What are these handgunners? That's why okay All right, I'm not used to my free company militia doing that much damage. I will say I was I was rather surprised All right friends go ahead and finish him off These guys can focus fire him and then we got the flank going. Nice. Man, the steam tank though. This it says only two damage. Actually, that seems really low. Whatever, it's fine. Let's go ahead and get a flank shot over here. Flank shots with the cannon, amazing. Definitely uh, a must have. Dang, it looks like he just barely got that spell off. Unfortunate, unfortunate. But uh, I think that's basically it. I think the battle's more or less done at this point. Let's go ahead and finish off these Marauder Great Weapons. We have more than enough range for them, and I don't believe we lost any units. We have one handgun routing, but that's totally fine. Alright, nice. There we go. And then I think it takes a second for the battle to end. Yeah, yeah, it takes a second for the battle to end. There we go. <laughs> Jankiest quest battle I've ever seen. Alright. You love the France campaign so much? Yeah, yeah. France campaign is great. I'm loving it. And the difficulty is way crazier now because of the... Because you have so many guys in the Empire. It's not just like a, a walk in the park uniting them all. When is the crisis triggering? Probably in like 10 turns. Nice. Loads of money. Loads. And we get the casualty replenishment. Sweet. Another 5,000 Beast Slayer. Unfortunately, I believe we already have Franz's, uh... Okay, now he swapped weapons. Interesting, interesting. Let's see. Yeah, we can go for... We can go for this. Extra loot, battle loot. Honestly, that's just so much better. Why, why do I want the Beast Slayer item? <laughs> that seems hella useless. Alright, there we go. Much better. Uh, what quest do we still have? see yeah gall Maraz is gonna be huge and then silver seal yeah but i can start equipping my heroes and, and lords as much as possible anyways back to the cavalry action and what's this crossbowmen very very important for us we want to upgrade this garrison too noln is looking all right sweet i'd say this is pretty good we just gotta make sure that the end we, we just gotta prepare for the end games as much as possible i think we can get a good enough uh good enough armies to defend against Sort of these waves of, of normal AI units. But the end games are going to be throwing in like late game stacks at me. So, <laughs> got to be real careful. Got to be real, real careful. Yeah, I got the steam tank from Nuln. So if you take over Nuln as fast as possible and get an Elector count there, you, you basically get an instant steam tank. It's really, really good. You never take Nuln. Yeah, yeah, Nolan is, uh, Nolan is great. Thing is, they usually make for a pretty good ally, if I remember correctly. So, you know, there's trade-offs. Okay, nice. Extra damage. Extra missile resist. For Pistoliers and Outriders. Only Pistoliers and Outriders. That's not too great. I think I'd rather have the missile damage. Reload time is pretty cool, too, but... Let's go for the missile strength. We're gonna be focusing heavily on military, because... Obviously... We're not going to be able to have a huge empire by any means. Um, I will just auto-resolve this. 
There we go. Not too horrific losses. Get the casualty replenishment rate. I still have the, the quest battle replenishment, so I don't mind taking an auto resolve there. Nice, and there we go. Another settlement. Look at this. We got a little empire going. We got a random green skin faction that we have to declare war on. That's totally going to take out Null. I hope this doesn't just... <laughs> do these guys get part of the endgame crisis? Because if they do, then that's a problem. No one declares war on you constantly? I Dang, alright, never mind then. <laughs> unfortunate, unfortunate. Um, let's see. I I really don't want to lean on, on Lightning Strike that much, but... We we might have to. Oh, no, I'll, I'll save it. I'll save it for later. We don't need to rush it, right? Come on, who needs Lightning Strike when you can... When you can just be sick. All right, here we go. We'll get rid of that building. Looking good. Looking good. Now, let's see. Do I want Helmgart? That's the question. I think Helmgart will be okay. It's an Empire Fort. Fairly defensible. I think it's pretty worth it, right? Did you know Nolan is probably somewhat based on Nuremberg? Interesting. That's cool. How, like, how, how much somewhat? Is it like, I don't know, the industrialization there? Is that, is that the connection? You'll pay 40 euros if I don't put any, any points into lightning strike this stream? Deal. Deal. I'm down. Who needs lightning strike? Nobody. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's, a, it's just a fun challenge. I command here. I'll just, uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'll run him down with the cavalry anyways, right? It's not like having multiple battles will really help me out unless I'm going a mass range build. But nice. Let's go ahead and get Helmgard. Yeah, yeah, total, total sellout. Yeah, yeah. I gotta do it, though. I was honestly planning not to take it, but I'm, I'm ready to lock it in if that's what you guys want. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I don't want to lose these guys to auto-resolve. I think we're okay just fighting the battle. Is the Altdorf garrison fixed already? It seems it, it's like a little bit bigger than other garrisons, but it's not it's not like a mega garrison, unfortunately. Vampires are horrible. Kemmler, the Red Duke, and Sylvania spawn spawn the stacks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh that's gonna be pretty scary. But I don't think undead are actually that hard to beat. Does anyone think I'm crazy here? <laughs> We did a vote. We did a vote, and Undead were was bottom tier along with Greenskins. Most people were worried about the Dwarves and, and the Wood Elves. For good reason, I imagine. For very good reason. But yeah, I, I don't think I'm... I'm not that worried about some silly Undead. Oh, are they going to throw skeletons at me? <laughs> it's going to be like a full stack of Blood Knights. It'll be terrifying. Okay, nice. So, it looks like they're not manning these towers. That's great. Just gotta get out of the range of these guys then. And then get onto the walls with my infantry, including uh, Captain John Map. And then France can just go ahead and kick down the wall. Yeah, Greenskins are pretty far. Yeah, I, I guess Grom's gonna be a problem. Honestly, if Grom conquers Bretonia, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> I'm totally fine with that. I do not want a late game Bretonia. Yeah, Bretonia is crazy because they sort of just spam Grail Knights at you 24-7. If, if they're out of the picture, you know, things might even be easier by some metrics. We'll see, though. Oh, look at that. I got the Potion of Toughness on Frames. That's pretty huge. Only problem with the vampires is that they're close together. That's a good point. That's a good point. I do fear that. I do fear that at least mildly. Still though, still though, their stacks can't be that scary. They don't spam knights nearly as often as the Petonians. All right, here we go. Gates are open. Get in there. Get in there, boys. What is Franz doing? Franz, <laughs> attack those darn archers, my dude. There we go. Took him a hot second. Hey, Tillin Smith, thank you very much for uh, for the 40 euros. The bet is on. It begins. Yeah, yeah, nah. This is gonna be easy, man. No need for lightning strikes. I have to be super careful I don't accidentally take it, though. That would be bad. Let's see. Oh, actually, yeah, the steam tank explosion. Steam tank explosion doesn't do that much damage. Dang it, that two damage, not nearly enough. Oh, nice. We get momentum now for, for taking over these. That's pretty good. Honestly, this map, <laughs> this map's so great. Because it, it's, 
it's basically unchanged. They just added the uh, they just added the capture points, <laughs> but it's like it's very fitting. It's very fitting. Like still it still plays about the same. Let's see what they got. They got capture points on the side, so there's actually a reason to go there now. Pretty hype. Pretty hype. Yes. All right, friends. Where is that general? Did I kill him already? No, he's over here. If I can snipe him out, that'll be pretty great for the leadership buster. Minus 40? What's minus 40? What do you bid? Yeah, this is max difficulty. So we're on legendary, Rex very hard Rex. difficulty. We also Rex. have the end games on maximum difficulty. Uh, my Reichsguard are totally dying. And we also have... Um... Well, actually, I think that's basically it, right? Uh, yeah, and then the, just a couple of restrictions, like no abandoning my... My, uh, my main settlement and no lightning strikes apparently now. <laughs> And also making some reasonable compositions instead of just uh, cheese balling with 20 stacks. Can't be that difficult, right? <laughs> the real intensity is back. The real intensity. Who's the fake intensity? Who who's that? <laughs> yeah. Who is this other intensity that I haven't heard about? It's interesting. Do I have an impersonator? Oh my goodness. T D Y Watts. Wait, Deal Dill Watts. Dillwatts, is that how I say your name? Thank you so much for the uh, for the 20 pounds. A gift for you to keep up the great work. Thank you so much, man. That helps a lot. It, it really does. I'm like, uh, YouTube is, is so is so sketchy. You can so easily just lose half of your income after updates or like bad launches and stuff. So it it, it just it really helps make sure that, that life is stable. The dark intensity, there we go. Also, Tillian, I gotta say, that, those, that 40 euros is a lot. I, I, that's sort of just dawning on me right now. That's actually... That is a lot. That is a lot for the bet. I feel like, um... I feel like I gotta, like... I gotta, I gotta like, name a unit. I gotta name a unit after you for, for like, remind, as a reminder not to take lightning strike. Though, honestly, that might not work out, as I expect, because the unit can just die, but... I feel like at least I gotta do that. 40 euros is a lot, my dude. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. But hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't need it. I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm pretty on point today. I feel like I got the skills. My, my, uh, not Empire Knights, my Reichsguard are getting annihilated. But other than that, you know, things are totally fine. Uh, let's see. Can I retreat them off the map? Do they have a good retreat point? I'm hoping they can leave off, like, this sheer cliff face. I think there's a retreat point off there, if I remember correctly, but I might be completely wrong. There we go. Does this... Okay, nice. It gives a minus eight leadership burnt effect. That's why that steam tank is so good, because it insta-routes all of those guys. Dang, that's good. Emperor's Wrath doing the work. Oh my gosh. Very nice. Tissy's got to pay back the $80. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got to... I gotta pay it all back if I if I do the lightning strike. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess um I, I would have to do like another request that I can fulfill somehow. If I like if I for whatever reason just take it towards the end of the stream if I forget, then I would I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to do a stream to to pay back chat. But obviously we're gonna be working our hardest to to remember not to take it. Helmgart, uh, I will just normal occupy it. Because I do want to hold this as well as possible. Here we go. We've met with the Bretonians. Now remember, the Bretonians aren't the biggest problem. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, anyways. We've met with the Bretonians, so we have to be a little bit careful. And there we go. We have tons of money because the army's cheaper now. And then uh, I need to rename a unit. There we go. I'll rename these. I'll rename the steam tank after you. There's no way I lose a steam tank, right? It's not like I've ever lost a steam tank before. Let's see. How do I do that fancy S? There we go. Copy paste for the win. There we go. There's no way I'll remember about... Oh, there's no way I'll forget about the, um, the lightning strike now, right? We got the steam tank set up. Nice. Oh, man, look at this. I got a little empire going. What could possibly go wrong at this point? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Can I kill Kemmler? Is it possible to snipe out Kemmler in the next few turns? Because that would actually stop the counts from from going crazy, right? And then it would just be Grom. Uh, the sort of the question is like, 
do I want him to explode? Because he'll just take out the Bretonians, right? It might be better that Kemler sort of goes ham. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure. And Put you in dwarving, <laughs> dwarfing range? Yeah. The dwarves are going to ruin me. Frank the Golden Tank. Ready. Maybe the next Steam Tank. Steam Tank names have always been a, a fan favorite on these streams. For whatever reason. Alright, nice. Commandment time. What's a good one? Recruitment capacity, growth. Growth is probably the one we want. Growth it is. Growth it is. And Ubershrike. Uh, we can get this special building soon. To to get a nicer garrison. Four ex or five extra heroes. Amazing. And of course money. Those buildings pay for themselves so quickly. They're always... They're almost always worth going for. Nice. Gnome's looking okay. Oh, this army's super beat up. That's actually very good for me. So I think... I think we're due for our second army. Let's go ahead and get this guy. Let's see. This guy's back in two turns, but I want to start recruiting right away. We're going to go for the Grand Soulfire first. And then we can start getting Pistoliers. These guys, Pistoliers, and... Oh, we need a Blacksmith. Oh, dang. Where's the Blacksmith at? <laughs> uh, blacksmith is tier 2, so I can get that after I... I have to get rid of a building. That's a shame. We're going to go Pistoliers first because it's good against Greenskins. Should be nice. Should be nice. Yeah. Honestly, Pistoliers will be good supplement for, for this army too. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, the strategy would be to end the stream and instantly start a new one. That's dirty, man. That's dirty. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna look we're not cheesing the campaign. We're also not cheesing chat today. I think that's a, that's a fairly good rule Fairly good ruling. Oh, here we go. What's happening? Okay, just a quest battle nothing too special Galmaraz plus three control in all provinces. Honestly, is that better than what I have going right now? Right now I have the dragon tooth which is plus five local and income after battle. Magic attacks and strength. This one's also magic attacks. Melee attack. I, I would rather have the battle loot, honestly. We we'll still do the quest, just because it's uh, it's a good quest. But I feel like uh, I feel like that's good. Yeah, yeah just just do the quest battle, but don't keep don't keep the thing. That seems about right. Uh, crisis will start on turn ten or twenty, <laughs> between turn ten and twenty. So it, it's coming up real soon. It's coming up real soon, my dude. All right, what do we got here? We have we have uh, an interesting army. Alhart's complete. They sacked Alhart, the monsters. We got a Lewin Leon Kerr over here. Interesting. Well, I do want to I do want to secure this area. The problem is, if they decide to siege me, we're in a little bit of trouble. Now it does have a garrison. So I can do this instead, park outside, and then I might be fine. I might be fine. If they siege it, it'd be a little bit sketchy. I'd have to march in, but I think the AI will think that... I think the AI won't be inclined to attack that. And then I can still get my replenishment. Honestly, we have pretty good replenishment already, right? Maybe I just sit here and get sieged. And then fight them in open field. I think I'd rather be outside. Let's do that. Nice! It's a lot of dudes all over the place. Yeah. I guess uh, Legendary AI, you know, they are a little bit more aggressive here. I did call them out for being a bit too easy to beat a while ago. But I think on this campaign, they might prove me wrong. We'll see. Here we go. But it's very important that I have my whole province here. Because the local recruitment capacity is going to be saving me here. This guy's going to get the Dragon Tooth. Nice. Get him some armor. Very good. What's this? Wound recovery time. Okay. Yeah, so... I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. <sighs> 1,000 turn campaign has started. I don't I don't think we'll be down to 1,000 turns. At some point, I have to be able to... To get some doom stacks going and we'll be fine. Hey, nice! He left. Lewin left. That's good. Question is, is Marienburg gonna leave? Yes! Marienburg left. This is pretty good. If you remember the old, um, the old This Is Total War challenge that I did, 
We had a very hard time just holding one province. What are the dwarves doing here? What are these guys doing here? All right. But yeah, we had a very hard time doing even the more... Uh, even just the basic challenge. Or, oh no, we had a hard time holding settlements. Yeah. Because none of them were, you know, settlement battles. So that made it pretty hard. But I think because of sort of how much easier it is to hold these. I think our first 10 turns are going to be a little bit easier. Question is now, do I want to save Kemperbad? That's 20 sack. And Kemperbad has a garrison of nothing. So we're just going to keep recruiting here. This guy's a little bit scary. How's Grunberg doing? It's a little bit sketchy. It's a little bit sketchy. Now, I would love to sack Marienburg. I would absolutely love to sack Marienburg. Let's see here. Oh, it looks like their garrisons are a little bit better here. I don't know. I, I can't tell if the garrisons are better for the Empire or not. Hmm. Yeah, the Dowie are unpredictable. <laughs> they're, they're, the grudges are starting. Honestly, they didn't even get the end game yet. They're already taking over Montfort. Uh, let's see. I think I want to do home base defense. If Alhart goes down, that's fine. It's honestly not that. It's not that important of a settlement. Friends can. I guess we can get. Karoberg. Get me uh, a couple buffer states going. Nice. Plus eight. Jeez. Plus eight armor piercing damage. That's so much damage. I'm just going to give it to the great swords. Make them just world enders. Nice. Auto resolve doing us good. Sack this here settlement. And then we'll see. We'll check on Lewin. <laughs> can we summon the electric counts in Warhammer 3? Indeed you can. We just have to take over all of the empire. Nice and easy. <laughs> all right, Lewin. Okay, he just has a he has a Menad arm stack. The guy's got nothing. Guy's a total just total chump change. Uh, oh, geez, the green skins. <laughs> Do these guys get uh, an end game? It's only legendary lords, right? We got the random beastmen army here. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna get the buffer state going. And then over here, this guy's gonna just. Spam out them armies. This guy's pretty freaky. You can see he has Empire Knights already. He has a load of dudes. Friends will probably have to come here to save him in a second. So let's go ahead and get these guys. Go for these. Let's see here. Maybe go like this. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. The one turn economy. You love to see it. We'll be fine though. We'll be fine. All we have to do is fight a battle. It's not too hard to do that. And honestly, this guy? Can we take the fight? Can I ambush battle one of these guys? Let's see. With the Glenberg. It's not the worst thing in the world. I guess I might as well... Hmm. Can I win this fight? Seven guys plus eight. So that'd be 15 units to his 20. We'd have Pistoliers and some ragged forces. I think we sit here. I think we sit here and maybe go into like ambush stance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna ambush stance here. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. We've seen... Oh, jeez. We've seen Festus. Here we go. At least he doesn't have an end game, so he's actually one of the more minor threats this campaign. Yeah, dwarves alone would be scary. Yeah, we got all the end games, man. Hey, Raphael. Happy to see you in chat. Hey, do you want a, do you want a unit? Raphael, we have most of the exciting ones taken, but you can be a handgunner or a swordsman. Dang, look at that. The Pyrrhic victory? Can we do better? He's attacking the garrison. What a mad lad. No. What is this? He's attacking... He's just attacking my army. He spotted the ambush. Um, what? We have a bunch of archers. Honestly, this, this, just, uh, this is just an auto-resolve, isn't it? This is just an auto resolve. I'm pretty sure this is just an auto resolve. What's your favorite race to play in single player? Ooh, man, there's a lot of good ones. Vampire Coast is very fun. <laughs> Has anyone been able to do Empire without minus 10 authority? I have no idea. I'm sure you can make it work. Let's see. So, can I do this better? That's sort of the real question, right? If I can hang on to these Pistoliers. What? He has a couple knights. This is a nice garrison army. You know what? <laughs> you know what? I think I think we can do better than this. Yes. Yes. Okay, I, I'm going to do a poll. Auto or fight. 
Here we go. Yeah, what, what do you guys want? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea how I want to play this. Because this is, this is, this could be good. I don't want to lose the RORs, though. They're so nice. Fight nine, 69%. I'll take it, guys. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, here we go. Yeah, second army. This auto smells suspicious. Fight it. All right. Raphael, I'll have to remember to uh, to get your name in there after. You want to be a handgunner? Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Uh, I think the scariest thing's probably just the mortar. I can sneak around the edge of the map, though, with these pistoliers and just kite them out. Kite's gonna be the name of the game today, by the way, guys. If you didn't notice. Gonna be pretty important here. Uh, it's one of the most cost-efficient ways to use your units. Here we go. The sneaky, sneaky pistoliers that the AI totally don't see right now. Or do they? Are they just reforming ranks? I would love for them to move forwards a little bit. So if they do, then I can sort of just overrun that artillery piece. Let's see, where is it at? Where is it at? It's over here. Nice. I guess uh, if I pull these guys in here... Okay, they spotted my pistoliers. Now the question is, where do I actually want to take the fight? I guess I put these guys outside of the forest. The artillery piece is fine. And then this guy can just sort of march forwards. He's this he's gonna be the tankiest guy this battle. This uh this arch lector, he's gonna be annihilating this Empire General. So I'm not too worried about him. And then uh let's see. I guess we just have to kite out the cavalry first. Should be fine, should be fine. Yeah, auto resolve was two units dead and the entire garrison. Which would have been a little bit painful. Okay, here we go. We got the rest of our forces on the battlefield. And then, I don't have an easy way to take out that artillery piece, but at the very least, we'll be able to take out these Empire Knights. That's a good start. Let's see. Okay, artillery still focusing, my guys. Yeah, yeah, this should be fine. This should be fine. Uh, the AI is not the greatest at making a coordinated attack. So as long as we sort of just take it easy over here, keep most of them busy with these pistoliers, I think we'll be okay. And it's they're distracting the artillery, too. Very, very nice for me. Oh, couple of the Empire Knights actually moving on in. Oh, but they disengage. Dang. That's actually, that's really good for me then. Okay, Pistoliers in the distance doing good. These guys will come in to support over here. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Is it possible to win all of this? Yeah, yeah of course. Why would I be doing this challenge if it wasn't possible? All we got to do is be good. All we gotta do is be good. Not exactly the easiest task in my life, but, you know, we'll be fine. Yeah, no, this is an amazing start for us right now. Yeah, this is great. Like, those archers are getting just mauled. Or they'll be getting mauled in a second here by a big cavalry charge. Um, let's see, these guys are doing a great job distracting. Nice. And then my arch lector can start going ham. Yeah, so far so good, honestly. I would say, uh, I'd say this is, this is going great. Here we go. Uh, let's see, yeah, so Pistoliers are still pretty good cavalry. They're light cavalry, but they will do a lot of damage on the charge. So as long as I do that, I'll be fine. My Lord can go ahead and move on up. And then uh, the Garrison can probably just start taking the fight. I think that's completely fine. Here we go, we've got a nice beeline on that artillery position. I think one more charge in onto those guys will do it. This unit of archers will get charged by cavalry. Nice. And Sterling Trevent just have to run away from uh, from these this cavalry force moving in here. Yeah, no, this is actually great. This is doing way better than auto resolve. The days of me being worse than auto resolve are over, guys. We're doing it. We're actually doing it. Okay, man, those guys took a lot of damage, though. So. Moving now. Yeah, car cavalry early game is hugely important for us here because it lets us just outmaneuver the AI like crazy okay nice nice looking good looking good I did lose my uh, my sterling's revenge but that's okay it's another unit of archers down these guys are so close to routing there we go we got them out of there okay nice and then the cavalry can just start chasing these guys off getting the rear charges going and we'll be good to go and hopefully we can steal this mortar too. If we can, that would be so good for me. So I'm actually just gonna hover around these guys to make sure they're finished off. Very nice. Looks like my lord is doing fine because the empire general's nice and distracted. 
Yeah, yo, this is great. This is great for everyone who told me to fight the battle. You guys, you guys know what's up. This is going so well for me. All right, nice. Just a couple more archers to finish off. Yeah, I'm using the debug camera. If you look up, uh, I think if you look up Anticity debug camera, you'll find the video where I talk about it. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to set up and generally not too janky. So uh, I'd highly recommend it if, if you're looking for a sort of easier and better camera control. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and cycle charge a little bit more. We've basically won this battle, so I can start speeding up. There we go. Artillery's down to just one guy, so that does finish it off. Nice. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, ah, there we go. I think the Pistoliers were a very good choice. They're basically my, my pseudo cavalry right now. They do just well enough where they can sort of overrun the, the enemy, outmaneuver them a lot. And then, then once I can get Empire Knights going, then we're really set. Okay, nice. Looking good, looking good. Death Jacks are back. That cavalry over there is down. The archers are down. Nice. I think we just start focusing on running these guys off now. Yeah, because they're about to hit army losses. There we go. Oh, all right. There we go. That went extremely well. That went exceptionally well. Not a problem. Pistoliers equals doggos with guns. Apparently, they did really, really good. All right, nice. Chase these guys down. That should get this guy uh, a cavalry mount, too. He should get a horse. That'll make him way better, because he can start assisting my cavalry. Oh, all right. Oh, man, we're, we're like, you know, if it wasn't for the endgame scenarios, we'd basically be done. What would friends do without pistoliers? Probably free company militia spam. That's like my next most favorite unit. Yeah, free company militia spam is great. They basically do the same thing as pistoliers, just a little bit slower. Come on, chase them down. Chase them down. All right, those guys won't get them. But uh, I think I, I can finish off what? This unit of swordsmen? Yeah, they're gone. Nice, Pyrrhic victory. Much less Pyrrhic than it could have been though. Look at that, only like, we would have lost over 900 units had we auto resolved. Instead, we only lost like 300. Huge, that's huge. You've been told Reichsguard are just bad? No, they're pretty good. It's just cavalry in general have a harder time on campaign. But they're nice. Outriders are also, well, Pistoliers are good. Outriders are bad. Outriders are much harder to control. So it's a lot harder to get your values worth. Nice, 900 gold. Mm. What is this? Is this, uh, this is Kemper bad. Oh, yeah, they were sieging it earlier. I think we want to play this just to wear them down a little bit. Hey, hello. Hello. Hello, Timothy. <laughs> rebellion. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a rebellion in the distance. Mainly talking about the handgunners on horses. Yeah, yeah, the, the outriders, not the pistoliers. Outriders are pretty good. Yeah, I would say, um, even in, like, in multiplayer, you see them a lot. Ah, yeah, 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 they're, they're taking a lot in multiplayer just because, um, if you control them well enough, they're fine. But usually, pistoliers are much more cost efficient. Alright, let's see. I think we save up for the better cannon towers here today. We can probably overrun this ranged formation over here. So I think we're going to go for that. Ignore these guys. And then I guess hunker down over here. So a little bit sketchy. But if I can even kill a couple handgunner units, I think it's worth it. So let's try that. Uh, what's it? Oh yeah, the speed increases. Speed increases are pretty hype, yeah. Alright, here we go. Spears can go ahead and charge the Free Company Militia. Get these guys over here. Yeah, I think we'll be able to kill most of those guys. And then I want to save up for probably the Cannon Tower. Explosive Tower is great too. But um, not yet. Not today. 
Actually, no, I could go for the explosive tower. It depends on how fast the AI is at capturing, I guess. Oh, we're losing my archer as always. Losing my crossbowman is really bad, though. Preferably, we could have avoided that, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll live. Okay, here we go. We can almost get the cannon tower. Yeah, let's save up for the magic tower. I think that's just way better. Nice. Okay, so that's crossbowman down. That's a good start. That's a good start. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. <laughs> okay, there were a lot more guys in the back that I was not paying attention to. Well, you know what? I'll call this a win. I'll call this a win. We chase off all of these guys. And then I we just got to get back here as soon as possible to defend that location. Let's start getting our swordsmen over there. <laughs> what camera mod do I use? It's not a mod. It's actually part of the game. It's uh, it's just debug camera. If you look up debug camera intensity, I have a tutorial on it. All right, let's hope that tower can get some work done. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We'll finish off the crossbowmen, because this army is definitely going to be sieging me later. I want them dealt with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The difficulty changes that CA did were sort of weird. I feel like they made the game way easier. Um, which is why I feel like I feel like this challenge is even possible now because now we have easier to defend garrisons The AI uh, units aren't as good as fighting. You have no up upkeep that you really have to worry about Upkeep's basically non-existent at this point So it feels like I'm it feels like they it feels like CA removed legendary difficulty um, But they did add endgame scenarios, which I think sort of more than makes up for it though I, I would hope that they get sort of a difficulty setting that gives the AI more more economy and just has them like spam a, a million units so I do miss I do miss the endless waves of 20 stacks as much as other people didn't like it I was I was a pretty big fan all right nice so we got one spearman shield coming over here let's see if we can stop them real quick I got I got one unit of swordsmen moving into contest another one in the back that'll be there in a second See, this free company militia should go down in a second here. Nice. Come on. I got to hold it. Get on the point. Get on the point. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> they did it. They got on the point. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Nice. Not even close. Not even close. Nice. So that, that'll let me get a little bit of damage with the magic tower at least. I'll take it. I'll take it. Chase these guys off too. Oh my gosh, that was that was real close. Honestly, I think the the damage we're doing in this battle is pretty huge. I think we got a I think we got a good number of kills. Economy's bugged at the moment. What's up with economy? How's it bugged? Nice, look at that. 500 losses. We killed off like hopefully three of their range units and a spearman. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. All right, nice, nice. We took out. Oh, we only we only took out one crossbowman. That's a shame. Hopefully, he combines a few of those units. Okay, and then I think what the rebellion moved into. This is a minor setback. Yeah, it's just a it's just a random outlying settlement. I took essentially a bunch of buffer states to keep us safe. All right, did CA fix the defending town bug? Um, I think they did. From what I heard, I think they did. Oh, so oh, Jesus, uh, endgames are on turn 10. Well, the wild hunt is here. All right. Uh, the biggest wall. Vampiric Ascension. Very nice. The Black Pyramid. Very far away. Grudge too far. Nice. Nice. All right. I see no problem with this. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, well, at least, you know, this is like a Godzilla moment, you know? Let them fight. Yeah, look at this. You know what? What a little, couple of level 15 necromancers. <laughs> now remember, we got a donation to not take lightning strike because obviously we don't need it here. <laughs> it begins. Kemper bad is the least of our worries. All right. Yeah, let's just. I think we probably want to garrison this. I think we. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we still don't have any money. Yes. Now, here's the thing. We can bully the beast, man. That's a good sign. What we still have this army. Thankfully, we did manage to win that. He has the Grand Soulfire. 
And I don't need movement upgrades anymore. Instead, I just need full-on combat upgrades. Never. This Rebellion army will actually act as a bit of a buffer against uh, against Talapine. In the south, we got Noln. Pretty chill. Pretty chill. <laughs> yeah, it's about eight stacks per legendary lord. <laughs> Has Heinz reincarnated yet? Not yet. Not yet. We might we might wait on Heinz, but when we need the true savior of the empire, we can bring him in. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Honestly, uh, we can, yeah, I guess we just, we wait for him to show up because he's a default name. We just gotta wait for Heinz. Uh, but alright. I, I think we gotta kill this Beastman stack. We'll let these guys annihilate each other. And then, <laughs> and then the Wood Elves. And then the Wood Elves. Alright. So I need Empire Knights, don't I? I need Empire Knights ASAP. Um... Yeah, we gotta take this fight first, and then get the building that lets me get cavalry. This should be a pretty chill auto-resolve. Yeah, very easy auto-resolve. Nice. Loads of cash. Loads of cash, actually. Okay, very good, very good. And then over here, we can get the blacksmith. Gonna be pretty important. Or, alternatively, this costs 4000 It's so expensive. So expensive for what it gives. Um, I guess we can get a guardhouse. I guess feel about that. Just a normal guardhouse. I, I do need cavalry though. I do need traditional cavalry. So we're going to do that. Uh, these guys only got a couple stacks. Still <laughs> utterly terrifying though. Um, let's see here. I need, I need handguns. I need handguns. What is... Or crossbowmen perhaps? Oh man. <laughs> you know what? I think I think this building's overrated. I don't think we need that actually. I think because we're going to be running into a million dwarves, I think I need these guys. Just like a million crossbowmen to keep me safe. And then Franz can just take a bunch of fights to to sort of keep alive. Let's see what's this. Recruit rank, Reichsguard, great swords, and upkeep. Upkeep's huge. I definitely need that. We're gonna do that. We're in the positive money. Thank goodness. And then we just gotta mobilize these two armies to start taking fights. Alright, fingers crossed. Oh my goodness. Everyone's revealed now because of the end games. You see that? What was that? Wait, what in the world was that? Oh jeez. Museon got they got the end game too. Alright, pretty hype, pretty hype. Yeah, we just gotta we just gotta load up the defense. It's fine. Yeah, the end games gave us vision of all these guys, so we have to declare war on them. <laughs> all right, here we go. Can it be done? Can it be done? We need defense structures in Altdorf. You can't build them. That's the crazy part. Yeah, there ain't no defense structures in Altdorf. All right, Greasus, happy to be at war with you. <laughs> these guys are gonna travel so far to get to me. I just... Oh, jeez, I got... Goodbye, Volkmar. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> the lack of Volkmar is going to be pretty sus too, but I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Um, you know, we might even be able to do our quest battle during this time of peace. By time of peace, I mean time of stability before everyone shows up. Yeah, flame cannons are going to be exceptionally hard to deal with. Exceptionally hard to deal with. I'm hoping the dwarves are busy with uh, Heinrich for a little while. So that I can... Just, there's so many factions. Well, who would have guessed that the entire world had this many factions? Yeah, I think the flame cannons... Flame cannons are going to be a big problem. I can sort of outrange them and pull them apart. And then I think the a bunch of crossbowmen with a little bit of kite action should keep me safe. We have to maneuver it really well, though. Oh, yeah, no, it's this is Total War 2. What? What, you think I'm a coward, Rexor? <laughs> what do you take me for? <laughs> yeah, no, of course this is this is total war. What man would I be if I wasn't declaring war on absolutely everybody? <laughs> Yo, do you guys see this right now? It's just gonna become like a rainbow of colors. You're gonna get one row of one column of pixels for each faction. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yep, yeah, I didn't call this the hardest Warhammer challenge for nothing. <laughs> this is the hardest Warhammer campaign. Mind you, we don't have access to a wizard yet. 
which is going to be a little bit of a problem. Wizards are one of the best sources of cheese in the world. But, you know, if we don't have a wizard, who needs cheese? Am I right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Just a couple more. Just a couple more and we're good. <laughs> no magic. Yeah, the quest is bugged or something, right? Where we just can't... We don't get the wizard early on. We need, like, tier four. So we might just be wizardless forever. How many factions are left? Okay, nice. Just like only, only one more row. Well, I guess I can chill with chat while we declare war on everybody. All right. Now I will do. A, I will do a save here. I will do a save because I think. Because uh, just just in case we get annihilated instantly, I might not want to do the early game again. I think the early game was fairly fine, and then like, and then we'll be good. But um. We'll see, we'll see. The save's just, like, in case. I did run into a few issues before where my save got corrupted, so it's a nice backup, too. Oh, I right, here we go. Just a couple more factions. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We have so many wars. We have so many wars. <laughs> I love how the crisis also makes us just see everybody. I'm hoping that they declare war on each other. Like, their shared hatred against me can't be that strong, right? Didn't CA uh, reduce the... Didn't they reduce, like, the anti-player bias a little bit? I feel like that might save us. <laughs> but here we go. Uh, the setup is done. The setup is done, and all that's left now is is chaos. So, uh, we, we hit the, e the dreaded end turn button. We see what awaits us, people. We see what awaits us. All right, let's see here. Save games. Got to open up this. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Your reliability doesn't matter at all. Good point. Oh, I should have done the quest battle. Should have done the quest battle. <laughs> it's fine, though. I think we have another. We have one more turn before we can do it. Maybe we get an extra turn of replenishment. <laughs> the Bretonians are here. All right, that's fine. That's just Alheart. Okay, and they only sack it. That's good. That's good, I can live with that, because we still get our... Uh, we still have the province unless Marienburg comes in. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> oh my gosh, there was so much fighting there. Oh my goodness, did you see that? That was a lot. That was just uh, a whole lot of death there. Ah, yes. Um, let's see here. Fund investigation. Pay for the investigation. I don't want to pay money. Sure, you know what? Have my prestige. All right, here we go. So, let the madness begin. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Nice, we have a backup save. All right. All right, what just happened? Grom is coming? Yeah, Grom is coming. <laughs> it is just a normal Grom stack, though. I don't think it's his actual uh, endgame stack, so that's a big plus. Noln is coming to retake Noln. That's okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a lot of hammers. That's quite that's a few hammers. It's like a decent amount of hammers. Um, so let's see here. I need Fran to get over here into Uber Strike as fast as possible. And then I need to mobilize with this army. Between the two of them, they should be able to hold the Empire. And I might be able to get a good amount of cash off of Grom if we do this just right. Let's see here. Yeah, so I'll get like one more crossbowman. And then we can start getting ready for the fight. Hopefully Grom decides to come in here. If he doesn't, we run into the negatives a little bit. But that's okay. These guys are really beat up too. These dwarves. If you look at this, they auto-resolve the vampire counts like crazy. <laughs> Honestly, this might be all they have left, really. So, if they do take over Alhart, I might be able to... Oh, no, no, the quest battle, the quest battle. The quest battle is way more important here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Here we go, Galmaraz. <laughs> nice, nice, yeah. You're going to get hammered? Nah, we're fine, we're fine. Look at this, we got a sick quest battle here. We got a sick quest battle. Yeah, the hammer time. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. You just need a couple crossbows, right? Come on, aren't Free Company Militia the best unit against dwarves? I'm sure they are. I need crossbows ASAP. Because I think, uh, what, the dwarves? You know, the dwarves did lose most of their armies there. It's not like they're going to get more guys, right? 
You know, we'll be fine. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got the friends. He's on the Pegasus. We got the mortars. Gonna put him nice, safely back. I want to wait for my dwarven reinforcements here to save me, so... We're just gonna take it nice and easy, hopefully minimize the losses, and then get a heap of money to keep us safe. As man oh man do we need money. Um, we're gonna be in the negatives for a bit, and then just sort of overproducing with the crossbows. Here we go. France is gonna... let's see, can France get... can France fight this guy? What do we got? We have a we have a potion of toughness, right? France should be able to win this fight. We have uh, the Reichland Rune Fang. Here we go. We'll wait for us to take a hit first, and then we can do this. The dwarves are here to save us. Nice. France has taken the first hit, and he's annihilating that guy. Jeez, France is a beast, man. This this quest battle makes me feel so strong and safe when when we have the twenty stacks incoming. <laughs> like comparatively. This is, this is so easy compared to what we're about to face. This is great. I'm feeling, I'm feeling marvelous right now. Yeah, yeah, who needs doom stacks, honestly? We don't need a, we don't need to go super hard on the doom stacks. Besides, the supply lines are severely, severely nerfed now. So I think our supply line situation, I, it might be better just to make more 20 stacks, honestly. Like, obviously, Doom Sacks are good for auto resolve, but just having a lot of units is great. Oh my gosh, the Blender. The Goblin Blender. Oh my goodness, the friendly fire is immense. Franz is a beast, too. He just completely annihilated that guy. That was good. Nice, and then Steam Tank, you get a volley into those Orc Boys. Yeah, this, battle's, this battle feels great. One last power trip before the end, guys. Here we go, nice. Lord is down. Franz can snipe out the other guy now. I would love to route off this artillery piece. Honestly, let's just do that, yeah. Cavalry's moving on in. Pretty good, pretty good. Don't want to lose too many swordsmen, though. Let's keep them safe. Whew, that giant did a lot of damage, too. Gotta get my pistoliers on him. Or my uh, my free company, I mean. There we go, nice. Franz is getting sort of shrecked. Ooh, come on, Franz, get out of there. <laughs> we don't want to lose Franz. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Free company are wrecking that giant. Nice. Yeah, we, we took a few losses here, but we're gonna get another turn of replenishment. It's fine. Honestly, who even needs that swordsman, right? <laughs> who needs a swordsman? We're gonna be recruiting, um, crossbowmen anyways. There we go. Come on, take that giant out, guys. It's just a giant. Okay, yeah, we, we, we scuffed up this battle a little bit, but we're fine. We're fine. France is out of there. Friends out there. We got some shaken trolls. Um, let's see here. Nice. I think a uh, shot into that guy. And then I think once the giant is down, that should be pretty close to army losses. The biggest thing uh, would be the Arachnorok spider keeping them together. We'll keep all of our units though, which is fine. There we go. <laughs> this quest battle is done terribly. My goodness. Uh, let's see here. Okay, let's pull these knights back. Okay, we, we just gotta let the dwarves do the cleanup, don't we? Here we go, Arachnorok Spider. Let's take him out. Franz, uh, what is this? Just Forest Goblin Riders? That's fine. Yeah, look. See what we're really doing, right? We're giving our guys experience. Because obviously the HP doesn't matter with the replenishment. So it's better that we're giving them experience now. So that, you know, they heal, right? <laughs> Huntsman. Oh, Huntsman will be huge for us. For sure, yeah. Huntsman would be great for us. Oh my goodness. Alright, nice. Looking good. Looking good over here. Arachnorok Spider's nearly down. Tear out those trolls real quick. Get the steam tank. Move them over here. Nice. There we go. Army losses. Army losses. Army losses? <laughs> Come on. We got we got one more gobble over here. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Um, We might have lost our swordsman. We'll see. Dang, so army loss is just not trigger here? What's going on? What's going on? This one goblin's just tanking it. He doesn't care. There we go. Army losses. <laughs> All right, decisive. Look, see, even the game says it was decisive. Yeah, steam tanks are great, man. All right, nice. So we, we managed to get a whole bunch of chevrons on our swords, man. We should be able to take the fight versus Grom. Yeah, yeah, we got the crisis happening. Yeah, flawless victory. Flawless. 
<laughs> Only one third of our army. Thankfully, quests give you a punishment after them, so we'll be fine. Yeah, the crises just triggered. They just happened. There we go. Stacks of cash. Huge. Huge. We got the regiments of renown. That's amazing. All right. Switch that weapon back. This one's way better. Post battle loot is huge. We have a whole just whack load of levels. Nice, nice, nice. Make our army cheaper because more guys is better. And then I want to get upgrades for these crossbowmen. All right, nice. Galmaraz is ours. Uh, let's see here. This guy can now get a million crossbowmen. Huge for us. That's going to be the dwarf killer right there. And then we'll wait a turn to get the regiments of renown. We're safe, guys. We're safe. There's no possible way we're going to lose this. That's not even worth upgrading. I need the money for, for more military. Um, this is probably worth upgrading. Yeah, because I want to hold this settlement. It's a huge source of money for me. And then Grunberg. Grunberg's going to have to pray that Nuln doesn't show up. <laughs> Nuln's probably going to show up next turn, but we're fine. We're fine. All right, nice. Let's go ahead and get to the next turn. So we got the dwarves on our front doorstep somewhere. We got Grom coming in. We got the hammerers in coming with no enemy in sight. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Honestly, without the anti-player bias, this would be boring. This would be boring. Francis campaign is the hardest in Immortal Empires. Well, if we win this and it shows that we're that we that we got it. Okay, well there's the endgame armies. I scout Honestly, a lot more goblins than you would expect. Now, endgame armies are interesting because they don't actually respawn. After you kill them once, I think they're done for. So, if we can just get... If we can kill off a few key units here in this garrison defense, then we're in a pretty good place, I would say. It's also good that I cancelled that construction because it saved me a lot of money. Yeah, Ungrim versus Vlad... Yeah, they're going at it right now. I wonder who's going to come out on top. I sure hope Vlad wins it. Nobody wants to fight uh, an Ungrim stack. Although, I guess Empire is better suited at killing Slayers than most factions. Alright, interesting, interesting. So, I'm seeing most of the Black Orcs here. Those guys are probably the biggest threat. Savage Orcs will die to Archers, more likely than not. So, I'm not too worried about them. Like, it's not that I'm not worried about them, but we've had worse problems. And then I think I might even want to abandon the walls at some point. Because we have some pretty cool defenses back here now, right? Yeah, look at that. Wow, <laughs> the settlement actually has good tower positions. Wow, would you look at that? Who would have guessed it? CA can make a settlement with good tower locations. Oh my gosh, a line of sight on these forts is amazing. Jeez, I wish every settlement was like that. But all right, here we go. We got some decent fallback points. Mostly I want to kill off these black orcs, though. They are they are the most important things to take out. And then the towers can sort of just focus down some infantry groups. I would like to beat up their cavalry, too. Nice. And here we go. Let the battle begin. The IKEA plywood towers. Yeah, I guess it's just, um, I guess the art team just didn't have the time. I do, like, you know, I, I, we, I'm sure th there's a decent chance that we get fancier towers later with the DLC, right? Because then they'll actually have time to have the art team go wild. For now, though, we're going to have to deal with the plywood towers, but that really only hurts our, our immersion, right? We can, who needs immersion? All right, so so far it looks like the shots are doing pretty good with our crossbowmen. They got a couple Savage Orc Archer boys. It's fine, though. These walls do provide decent protection. And then I think... I think we don't even want to fight on the walls. I think we already just want to start abandoning them. Um, yeah, no need to really stay here because we have a second layer of walls that is just as good as the last. And the archers won't be able to get as much damage in on us. So let's go ahead and start the evacuation. These guys can move back over here. These guys over here. Crossbowmen into one of the best positions ever. Let's see. Can they dock here? Unfortunately, we don't have any docking on in this area, but they should be fine. 
And then, uh, here we go. Second green skin army coming. So army losses will basically trigger right away. As soon as we drop to, uh, one third of our original army size. I have to be a bit careful about that. But now we finally have some tower emplacements. So, yeah, let's just get the basic arrow towers for now on this front area. And then I can start saving up for the bigger towers. Nice. And then we have our, our second layer of defense. This should be pretty good. So, let's go ahead and get the Empire Knights back real quick. And then see how this goes. Yeah, no docking. Sad times. Sad, sad times. Alright, so the Halberdiers are doing okay holding up this position. They will buy, I think, a pretty good archer... Archer angle here. Let's see. Yeah, looks like we're getting a pretty good angle over there. And then over here, yeah, we just we want to stall these capture points so that uh, we can get better towers. But otherwise, I don't want to lose too many units on them. Halberdiers are holding up okay. Nice. And then I think the Reichsguard can probably start moving towards the back area so they can sweep up a couple archers. But like I said, we're mostly focusing these Black Orcs. Got to get them out of here as fast as possible because they won't be re-recruitable. Very, very important. So, if I can just finish off even one of those units, that would be huge. Why is it preferable for them to dock? I think it gives them missile resist and range, which is pretty hype. Okay, let's scoot up just a tiny little bit. Brace for the cavalry. And then use up the rest of our ammunition. Here we go. And then I would like to snipe out as many cavalry forces as I can. These guys are pretty scary because I don't have a lot of... Uh, I don't have a ton of anti-cavalry options. In fact, honestly, the cavalry is probably a little bit scarier than the... They're probably a little bit scarier than, than the Black Orcs, honestly. Let's get a little bit of focus firing on them. Nice. This is looking good. We got good arcs of fire over here. They're taking some heat. I want my Empire Knights to shut them down. Fog them down a little bit longer in this location. Keep the towers alive, too, too. <laughs> Keep, keep the towers alive, too. And then... Nice. Start the fall back towards the final back area. Yeah, if I had a mortar here, that would be so good. For this crazy choke point, that would be insane. Alright. Any, uh... Yeah, I think the cannon tower is probably what I want. It's harder to dodge, too. The magic towers can sometimes have a hard time. So, let's go ahead and do that. Crossbowmen, they're doing their best, but... Oh boy, here we go. We're seeing them start to pour in here. Honestly, we might get army lost, losing all of our crossbowmen here. So I think we just sort of do all hands on deck. And then just try and hold this area. Yeah, it wasn't the best defense, but we did make them suffer a lot of losses here. I might be able to take out a couple of these uh, big gun guys. And then I think we'll be able to use up basically all of the ammunition on my... On my, on my crossbowmen. That's basically the only goal we have here. Yeah, the archers are hitting my crossbowmen. At this point, I don't think it's worth it to reposition. I might as well just stand my ground and fire. Oh boy, they're pouring in. They were coming. Let's see. Okay, one of them is so low. One of them is very low. I just want to take out these very scary orc boys. 40 seconds till we get our cannon tower too. Honestly, if I had saved up for a cannon tower at the start, we could have really battered down this choke point. A lesson for next time, though. A lesson for if I have to restart. Here we go. Come on, cannon tower. Uh, let's see. This one. This one of eight... This 18 unit stack of savage orcs. I really want to... I really want to run them down. We're going to target fire them. Okay, this unit of spears. Let's bring them in. Let's get uh, one more tower, just in case we manage to hold for another 90 seconds. Nice, they're wavering. Okay, turning point. Big turning point. We got the towers. Towers online and operational. We're gonna fire directly in here. Dang it! Dang it, and the army losses goes just then and there. Brutal. Why is this the hardest France campaign? Max difficulty, this is total war, declaring war on everyone, and... Fastest end games with maximum end game difficulty. Yeah, yeah, you called the army losses. You called the army losses right as it completed. Now, we did 
do a lot of damage to the very scary units. But the Black Orcs did manage to keep a lot of their models alive, unfortunately. Still, though, um, 250 losses. I'll take it. Weaken them up a little bit, though. The jeez, jeez, that's a lot of green skins. So I think Grom's gonna be the first order of operations that we have to fight. In the best case scenario, he fights the dwarves, but I think the dwarves honestly just deleted themselves off of Kemler, so it's a little bit of a problem. Over here, we're gonna. Okay, it's a normal dwarf stack. So this is the one that they had initially. Obviously, we wanna, we wanna. You know, I wonder how well the auto-resolve does here. Honestly, the auto-resolve's not bad. Auto-resolve's not bad. Yeah, nothing crossbowmen can't solve. I'm hoping, uh, yeah. All of our recruitment's at Altdorf, which is nice. Oh, does this, uh, quest battle? No, this one doesn't give me the wizard. It does give me ward save, though, which is huge. I would love to get that quest battle done as friends. Oh my gosh, the Wood Elves. <laughs> Orion just annihilated all the Wood Elves. All right. There was a lot of fighting that just went down there. Uh, but yeah, we have bigger issues to solve, first of all. So, this caravan. I could kill the caravan for money. That's not the worst idea ever. Franz, I think, can kill Grom. Because his army's pretty weak. And then... Yeah, the replenishment isn't off the charts just yet. So let's see if we can do that, and then Someone maybe get the quest battle done and defend Uber Shrike. It's gonna be a lot of armies, I'm not gonna lie, so that's a lot. But it's not the end of the world. Imperial authority will never be positive? Uh, yes. That is correct. <laughs> I've accepted my, my fate of no Imperial authority. At least we don't get any debuffs from it, though. Alright. So here is the plan. I think I want to fight this Cathay army. Because I think if I kill the caravan, I think we get a lot of money off of it. Is that how it works? If not, we still win a battle, which is a lot of money. And it can sort of fuel my crossbowman pistolier stack. So that should be pretty good. That should be pretty good. Honestly, I just abandoned your location. That's another restriction that we have. We're also not abandoning Altdorf unless we have to. Which I don't think we have to just yet. Around 30k? You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me. There's no way this puny caravan has 30,000 gold worth. That would be game changing. That would be absolutely game changing if, if it gave me 30k. That would be huge. Think of the crossbowmen stats. Why don't you join against another faction for money? Because that's diplomacy. What part of this is total war do you not understand, my dude? It's total war. There's, there's no peace, only war. I'm not doing the diplomacy screen unless it involves declaring war. And only declaring war. <laughs> We're committing. We're committing real hard. It's fine. Alright, here we go. Gonna bounce over here. Gonna get that... Big ol' Ooh, look at that. The volley's coming. Gonna get the big ol' soul fire and bombardment going. Distract these here are what these warrior crossbowmen a little bit. And then I believe my my stack of crossbows here should be more than enough to clear these guys out. The Cathay forces do have a couple range units, but that's not the biggest worry. Mercy the Mad did a video about that, and they stop at Altdorf. Who stops at Altdorf? Black Arcs can get you 30k? Jeez, that's a lot. I do not fear death. Okay, nice. These peasants are gone. Let's go ahead. Oh, it's actually mostly just peasant archers. That's not a problem in the slightest. Then. Caravans. People are talking about caravans again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Caravans, caravans. Caravans have lots of coin. All right, if you guys say so. If you say so. Okay, so it should be pretty minimal losses here today. Yeah, it should be pretty minimal losses. Uh, these pistoliers will actually do pretty great. Just like... So I want to just touch them. Touch them a little bit. And then we are... Then just use the rest for the range attacks. My lord should be able to fight here fairly well. Okay, nice. Yeah, this battle's over. We got it. Ooh, alright. There we go. That's all the range down. So do I have to run them down? Is that the thing? 
Do I have to chase off all of their guys, or, or are we good after this? Marcy the Mad did. It was about 35,000 each. That is so big. That is so, 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 so big. So, if I can just sort of camp the caravans constantly, you're telling me we have infinite sacking economy already set up. This is going to be the easiest campaign I've ever played. No problem. No issues in the slightest. All right, let's go ahead and chase these guys down. Someone saying nope, as in nope, we don't have to chase them down, because that would be nice. All right. What do you guys say is the hardest campaign so far in Immortal Empires? A lot of people do say Empire is one of the harder ones. I feel like this probably is a harder one. I don't know if the Tomb Kings is still the hardest. If they've updated that or not. So you're only getting 11,000 per caravan? Maybe it's difficulty related? I have no idea. I guess we'll see. This guy's going to be a bit of a pain to take out. But I think my crossbowmen should be fine versus him. Come on, take him out. If not, we can just bring in our general. Come on. Get him down. Ark in the Black is easy mode? Really? What does Ark in the Black have now? Because I remember Tomb Kings generally being thought of as a as a fairly weak um, as a fairly weak faction before. Maybe Ark in the Black was good um, in previous titles, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I do hear that he's pretty great, though. Uh, I think, um, what's it? Battle C was saying that Ark in the Black was pretty crazy. All right. Here we go. We wiped out the caravan. Let's see how much money we made. Do you know the remaining generic lord? I have no idea what you're talking about there. Oh, dang. 10,000. Oh, dang. 20,000. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I hope they send more caravans. Now, they did give me the plague, but it's, it's a weak plague. It only makes me tired in battle, so... All right. An extra... Okay. Dang. That is really good. That is really, really good. This dwarf stack, I might be able to beat with... Yeah, I think with the ROR's, I can probably stand my ground here. Hopefully bait them into attacking me. And then we'll be fine. Friends now can be pretty great. I think if we do this... <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not auto-resolving this. Uh, yeah, I think if we move in with the friends here... Maybe if we can get the quest battle done. Because the quest battle ward save is huge. Yeah, 20,000. That was... that We basically did the Realm of Slanesh. With the one... With the one Cathay caravan. That's crazy. There's a joke to be made about a plague from Cathay. Ugh. Too soon, man. Two years is not... Two years is not long enough for that, my dude. <laughs> oh, man. That's hilarious, though. More crossbowmen. Yeah, crossbowmen are going to be good. I don't think pure crossbowmen will save us, though. Because they will have cavalry. I think I legit actually do need at least a couple spears. Franz finally on his on his proper mount. All right. So I think we use the artillery to take out these trolls. And then we sort of wait at the choke point here. To just gun them down, right? I have a bunch of really good holding units. To stop them. The artillery, too, can sort of just pound that location. And then... Yeah, it shouldn't be too much of a problem, right? These guys will take to the right flank. And then we have even a couple more archers here. Nice. I think we just fight them at the choke here. Steam tank can go ahead and fight those guys. And then artillery's firing away. Yeah, we're good. Handgunner stacks no longer meta. They're probably meta. I would love to experiment with different stacks, though. I feel like... I feel like cavalry stacks will be great versus the Wood Elves. I would love to go for... Sort of just like a standard Empire army. Because I think the spears are very good for these very cavalry-focused armies. We'll see. We'll see what we can experiment with. Okay, nice. We got the choke point of death over here. We got Franz gonna beeline towards that artillery piece. And then Steam Tank can just keep poking down those stone trolls. Grom, this army is sort of the least of our worry when it comes to when it comes to Grom. Because it's just his normal army. 
Um, his 20 stacks are going to be way more vicious as soon as they show up. Let's see. It looks like he's just going for that steam tank. I'm going to see if I can kill him with my knights. If not, we'll just get Franzen. I'm pretty sure Grom's going to be a little bit too spicy here for us. But, um, yeah, let's just get Franz in here. I think a Franz, early Franz kill on Grom's the way to go. Here we go. Taking off. Nice. Okay, and then Steam Tank's back on Stone Troll killing duty. Huge diving on Grom. He should be done for. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's definitely done for. Okay, nice. And now the actual battle starts. So we got the kill zone over here. I have no worries about this position. This is just so many overlapping range units. Uh, we should be fine there. Grom's now routed. Very nice. Steam Tank can... I have to be a little bit careful about these stone trolls. I don't want to get stuck in the fight against them. At least not without support. Um, I think, yeah, we definitely want a little bit of range fire to save us there. But yeah, I'd say this is looking pretty good. And as soon as the stone troll, or as soon as Grom is down, I should be in a much better position to deal with the stone trolls. Since Steam Tank has the, the leadership debuff. And then Franz can move in and dive into their backs. Yeah, I think the Reichsguard can finish off Grom. Nice. Looks like this is going pretty well. Very good. Very good. Honestly, um, can we just kill him with the steam tank? Get a single shot off? Come on, the big shot. Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. Alright, plan B. We're going to get friends and rear charge the trolls. And then use this burnt ability. <laughs> Yo, the tower defense... The tower defense label that people gave Warhammer is so... <laughs> that's so hilarious. Oh my goodness. I don't think it actually affects the... Um, oh, do these guys have ITP? No, they're just barely not terror routing. Or... Yeah, they're like one leadership away from terror routing. That's a shame. Man, Grom's still living too. I really need to get him dealt with. Um, man, those chariots too are giving uh, my free company a hard time. We're going to suffer a few losses here, but nothing too catastrophic, I think. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, because the difficulty settings make it way harder to tear out these trolls. But we got them out of there eventually. Very nice. <laughs> the tower defense label is hilarious. Um, but all right, nice. There we go. This gets dealt with. Trolls are going to be coming back, so I probably have to loop around with friends. But I think the loss of Grom is going to be pretty brutal here for the Greenskins. He'll be back, though. He'll be back, but at the very least, we don't have to deal with him for a little while. Um, we keep his level nice and low, too. Nice. Okay, pretty, pretty well-fought battle. This sort of sig signals to me, though. That there's no way we're going to be beating the more vicious 20 stacks once they start uh, coming on in, right? Like, if we have to fight Black Orcs instead of Goblins, we're obviously just going to get run over. Uh, let's see here. Who's this guy? Just 30, 33 company? Alright, at least they still live. Yeah, so I think I need to get my I need to get my crossbowmen stack online and operational, and then that way we can get a proper full kite going. Routing off these here trolls, by the way, gonna be exceptionally important. As uh as they will be a huge problem if I have to fight them later. Nice. Yeah, but overall I'd say I'd say this this fight went okay. There we go. Alright. And then I have to chase off the trolls. 20 sacks will probably have the wah as well. That would be bad. That would be bad. Yeah, if they get the wah, then <laughs> they're going to be 40 stacks. That's going to be a little bit of a problem. I do say. I do say. We'll see what we can do with it, though. They might not have the wah just yet. And possibly we can just wait it out. Like, Grom's army didn't have the wah, so that's a, that's a pretty good sign. Okay, nice. Pretty good battle. Pretty good battle. Pyrrhic victory, I'll take it. We'll get a little bit less experience for that, but that's fine. What's the best auto-resolve army early game? I remember my Volkmar stack. 
with like a million free company militia was actually really good at auto resolve. The event makes wa armies, makes wa's come more often. Well, that's terrifying. Okay, 3,000 gold, I'll take it. Wow. That's useless. Well, I guess all units in the army having terror is nice. I'll take it, I'll take it. Let's go ahead and finish off Grom. This army's so, so beat up, I think I actually want to leave them around. Then the question is Uber Strike. So we have three 20 stacks going. One of them's beat up, the other two are at full power. I could try and save this settlement with friends. Unfortunately, we don't have we don't have ambush stance here. I could give them the kite and then retreat action going. Kite and retreat would be would be okay. Nothing too crazy. I definitely want uh, missile damage and ammunition. Hmm. Either that or or we leave Uber Shrike. This is a. Here's the thing. This gives us a battle wizard. Now he only has fireball though, but he's still a battle wizard. Yes. Maybe we can ward off the green skins if they decide to take a settlement fight. If we have our full army here to defend, perhaps we can hold it. I can hold it for one turn and then bring in these guys the next turn. That's not the worst. That's not the worst. Uh, let's see here. Hold the line is great. I just don't want to lose my replenishment because of a siege. So maybe we start outside of the settlement and if they, you know, if they siege it, they siege it. Um, they might decide to attack me too. Hopefully it's not in full force, otherwise we have to retreat. We could trade here too. You have 20 wins of magic. Well, yeah, that's not a lot of wins of magic, is it? I think we, I think we hide in the garrison. If they fight it, then then we should be able to take out one of the one of the end game scenarios. And if that's not a win, I don't know what is. We might lose the steam tank though, but that that's a that's a loss I'm willing to take. I'm willing to lose the steam tank here, as painful as that is, if it means that we'll be able to essentially stop the wave of Grom. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, a couple fireballs is better than nothing. All right, here we go. Oh boy. I think that this might go okay. This might go okay. Oh boy, here we go. The siege begins. Though they did position out away from from these guys. But I think did they just wa? Did they just wa? <laughs> Cuz that changes things up a little bit. Mm, and the dwarves are here. They showed up with two stacks. Oh boy. Uh, I think I have to fight and retreat. I think I have to fight and retreat. So I'm not going to take any damage from this fight. But but we're still going to have to retreat though. <laughs> Remember 20 minutes ago and I said we'd never I'd never lost a steam tank? It's true, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, you know, just just don't watch my earlier streams. We'll be fine. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So, against the dwarves, full kite. That's how you want to do it. You don't want to just hide in the corner. You want to be as spread out as possible. And then mostly, you want to go for boxy formations, like so. By the way, control down. Great way to get your box formations going. Instead of doing them individually. It also spreads them out nicely, too. It's great. Nice. And then the Pistoliers, they're going to be over here. Pistoliers are going to be distracting them to try and pull them apart so that I can focus fire more dwarves as much as possible with the crossbow fire. All right. Now it looks like they're waiting for reinforcements. So that makes life a little bit easier for me. Now the reinforcements do have organ guns. If I can take those out with the Pistoliers, that would be huge. Of course, no guarantee though. Good luck, have fun, you can do it. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot. This is, uh, what's it? You got two organ guns, tons of infantry. Honestly, a lot of them are melee. 
I don't have the ammunition, though. I have to retreat from this battle and then win it afterwards. The crisis has started, so will not be revived now. Who will not be revived now? All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this is stressful. Oh, there we go. We got a couple of miners. Definitely don't want to get hit by those guys. And then we just got to get the get the kite action going. It is. This is mostly melee, honestly. There's only four units that have longer range than my crossbowmen. This is not impossible. As you say. We're playing a failing politician. <laughs> I do go into that mode once uh, once things start getting sketchy. Here we go. There we go. Uh, range. We're almost in range. Now, the artillery pieces won't be able to fire out of the forest for a while. This is a huge advantage for me. Pistoliers, of course, will be able to do great. And here we go. Let's get the let's get the initial volleys going. That might trigger the AI to start pushing towards me too, which would make it easier to sort of pull them apart. Okay. And uh, first order of business is probably those there blasting charges. Let's go ahead and get my lord in there. Get uh get his physical resist in case he gets target fired down. Looks like not quite yet. Not quite yet. I will still talk it though. Okay, organ guns are in position. These archers are just going to pull back for now. Nice. And then I don't want to lose my pistol ears just yet. We're going to pull them away from the organ guns. For now, we'll just call them a distraction and call it a day. Nice. Nice. Okay, the kiting is going okay so far. Honestly, there's, there's nothing, not a single thing is going wrong. Though I probably want to pull this guy out. Here we go. They called a wall on Altdorf? Oh, boy. Well, you know, they, they have France to get through first. France is a beast, man. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Lord is out of there. Sweet. Pistolier is on the run. Okay. And then these guys can start pulling away. Nice. So now, now that these guys are sort of starting to pull apart, I can start getting some focus fire with my archers and bring in my lord to deal with them. I wish I had the potion of healing on this guy. I should have switched it to him after the Franz battle, but lessons learned, lessons learned. I guess we need Franz uh, on settlement defense anyways. Nice. Okay, and then Pistoliers can start harassing those blasting charges. These guys will just want to pull straight back so I can regroup with them later. And overall, I think we're okay as long as these miners don't get too close. Another grand soul fire, and then get him out of there. Yeah, how do you guys feel about this battle? I think we're in an okay position. I know a few of you guys are freaking out about the the tide of dwarves, but you know, it's just a couple dwarves. Oh man, the I have no vigor. I have no vigor. Oh my gosh, that's a little bit scary. Because it means that I have, I'm moving at turtle pace. And it also means that my leadership is down in the dumps. Because you get uh, huge leadership hits um, when, you're, when you're low on vigor. <laughs> okay, well that changes things up a little bit. Still though, we'll be able to take out a, a good few blasting charges. I have confidence. I want to stay away from those thunderers though, most definitely. Have a little bit more kite action we can get done here. Oh, those blasting charges are gonna land. Come on, run for your lives! Run for your lives! There we go, they'll be fine. Nice, nice. Oh, okay, about quarter damage, but I can live with that. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get a, we're gonna get a few kills here, but nothing extraordinary, I think. I think this right pocket might be okay, but the organ gun really makes that difficult. Yeah, we'll just, we'll kite them to the edge of the map and then retreat. Okay, nice. Those blasting charges are getting slowed down. Okay, a little bit more over here. Finish off those blasting charges, and then the archers can fire over here. Yeah, the organ guns are a problem though, because they they'll just keep they'll just keep coming forever. Still though, I'm I'm sort of liking uh, I'm sort of liking how this is panning out. We've killed at least I think we'll kill at least like four blasting charge units. <laughs> That's not the that's not the biggest win in the world, but it's still not entirely the worst. 
because it means um it means I can more just focus on kiting out pure melee units instead. What are these guys? Slayers? That's pretty good for me. Especially when it comes to the Pistoliers. I think I want to get my archers near those Slayers too. Okay, nice. Uh, how much map do we have left? We're slowly running out of map, but we're okay. Turtle versus Snail, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> truly, truly. The battle's going okay though. Um, I would put my Lord into that Organ Gun unit. But I'm too afraid of him getting just sniped out by those Thunderers. That is something I definitely don't want to have to deal with. Here we go. We finally are on top of those Slayers, though. Honestly, he could probably dive that Organ Gun. If I can just save up for a couple abilities, I think he has a pretty good shot. We're going to try it out. We're going to try it out. These guys going to slowly evacuate this way. Maybe get a couple shots there. Yeah, I would love to kill an organ gun. That would be that would be a game changer. Okay, a couple hammers are getting in. Are all these guns unbreakable? No, their leadership does waver. It's just a very, very slow process. Here we go. Get the soul fire going. Get the rest of these crossbows going in there. Maybe uh maybe a couple cavalry units too. Okay, these guys just have to run out. I don't think there's any escape for them. So they're just gonna beeline off the battlefield. We still have a decent amount of guys, though. The Slayers are in combat. Okay, chase down these blasting charges. Don't want to get hit by them. What's this? At least 2k? Can go back for the, for the cannons? Yeah, yeah, I, I really want to... I really want to get onto those artillery pieces. Oh, those blasting charges are lining up. They're lining up. All right. We get a decent dodge on them. That's good. That's good. Uh, I need my general in there ASAP. ASAP. I don't want those blasting charges getting too much damage. Okay. Nice. 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 I have a couple crossbows here still alive. These guys are just going to route off the battlefield. Totally fine with me. And then the Pistoliers can start routing to get onto the cannons. Blasting charges are finally shut down. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to have a very interesting operation here in but a second. The goal is simple. Take out that one artillery piece. Oh man, these guys are getting so beat up. I think I have to pull some of them out of here. Honestly, I don't think I can get to that artillery piece. It's a little bit too stuck in. It's a little bit too stuck in. At least we got these miners, though. And then these guys can pull out. Nice. Yeah, I think we'll probably army loss. If we don't, though, I'll see if I can get some single entity shenanigans to get the... Get that cannon. Uh, let's see, why these guys? Dwarf warrior great weapons. Definitely want them gone. Okay. I do not fear death. Yeah, what do you guys think? You think we'll get it? I think we're going to army loss instead. <laughs> oh, right, there we go. This is the miners down at least. A couple dwarf warriors here. Okay, here we go. This is the biggest operation ever. We don't have to route these guys off the map just yet. These dwarves are slow. The dwarves are slow. We have the thunderers. The thunderers have a decent chance of friendly firing in this situation. We have a single unit of free company. They act as a decent distraction. And they're gonna be they're gonna be the heroes of today. If they can distract the Thunderers even a little bit, it's gonna be worth it. And I just have to keep an eye to make sure these guys don't target down my lord. That working gun's so painful. Here we go. Here we go. We're not army lost just yet. Come on. Come on. It's going to be at the expense of these free company taking insane damage, but this would be huge. This would be huge. They're not targeting them. Now I just have to not hit army losses with the loss of this free company unit, so they have to just keep running. Safe as humanly possible. Yes. Okay, we're in there. Free company, get out of there. You're just distractions. Uh, let's see here. These crossbow have to go here. Okay, they're routed, but no army losses just yet. Not just yet. Soul fire is away. Come on. Come on. If I can kill even a couple models of this artillery piece, it's worth it. Yes. Yes, it's working. 
It's working. We have we have like a minute or two. No. Oh, all right. Well, you know we uh, we got army lost. Dang. Dang. Brutal. Brutal. But not too bad. Not too bad. We got uh we actually traded one for one. Despite the circumstance, like, given the circumstances, one for one's actually pretty good. I'll take it. All right, GG, GG. Not too bad. Checking up on the Twitch chat real quick. This is your favorite faction, but you forget how to make empire armies. Usually you go for ranged. Man, did my YouTube chat just, uh, just break? I'm not seeing any messages on the YouTube. Let's see here. Weird. Weird. This is no YouTube messages. All right, I'll take it. All right, here we go. So, we got a pretty good fight there. Thankfully, we do get the replenishment. And then I think we got one of these armies to retreat. We also gave them the plague, which is nice. Now, this army's terrifying. Oof. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're just watching me kite. All right, here we go. So, this army's completely undefended. I think what we do is a switcheroo. So, we go here. Legend said this campaign would make him hate the game. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, uh, let's see. I want, yeah, crossbowman ammo. I think this army's better suited for this fight against the Greenskins and Francis. So we're gonna go here, park them nice and close, take this fight. Now we have to win this fight. Obviously, auto resolve is out of the question because we have to win better than that. And then Franz is gonna double back to head to Altdorf to fight off uh, the dwarves. That way, we're only really losing a bunch of crossbows, which are a lot more replaceable. This is worse than I imagined. No, this is going totally fine. We just got tons of money from, uh... <laughs> we just got tons of money from killing a Cathay caravan. Cowboy Bob, thank you very much for the $10. Thanks for all the content. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, this update's very fun. All right, here we go. We got a ginormous army for us today. This alone is already pretty great. I would say... All we gotta do is just make sure that mostly it's a settlement garrison taking damage, and then we'll be fine. Let's go ahead and park him over here. Let's grab these guys, get the friends, he has a healing potion, and then obviously the hero squad, they're here to tank. Then we got a fireball caster, Let's do a little bit of lord snipe, and then I think we're okay with a fairly just standard composition here. Of course I want the spears to deny cavalry flanks. Because boy, oh boy, do they have a lot of cavalry. Yeah, this feels all right. And then we have uh, we have the reinforcements. Here we go. Ah, oh, man. Oof, that's a lot of artillery. I need to deal with that. I think if I can get my bright wizard on them, we'll be okay. And then the reinforcements should be able to harass them too. With the ancestors watch. Oh man, no, I, I don't need I don't need no dwarven ancestors here. <laughs> I'm the personification of the this is fine meme. I think I think I've heard that one before. Oh, right, here we go. How much wins of match do I have? Like 20? Totally fine. Here we go. Now Fran should be fine taking out those pieces. I think the steam tank should be steam tanks are pretty good at sniping artillery, right? Yeah, this is the Uber Strike Garrison. Yeah, so we have, uh, we have, we have what? What's, what's this? Dirk? That's not the actual name. I forget what their names are. I haven't played too much Vermintide. Though I did a little bit, just a tiny bit. Ooh, I'm not liking those cavalry units. We'll just sit here with the steam tank for now. Just let the steam tank do a bit of poking. Hopefully this fireball gets a little bit of damage going. The one guy is headless. <laughs> the witch hunter is headless. That's a little bit sus. That's a little bit sus. For a witch hunter, I would say, uh, I'd be a little bit disturbed. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. All right, reinforcements, it's on you. It's on you. Wow, the range on this guy. This waystalker is great. I love it. Okay. I need to get my archers in range to support my single entities. Here we go. And then Franz. He's mostly just trying to distract their range. 
Looks like they're targeting my infantry, though. Oh, that's painful. There we go. And the reinforcements are here. All right. So that flank should be fine. Franz is going to move back to give support. Now, thankfully, all of my units should have terror against greenskins. I don't know if it's actually there or not yet. I guess uh, only for my non-garrison forces. Uh, let's see here. Franz needs to dive in onto those orc boys. We'll go here. Get these guys here. Oh boy, here we go. I think this right, this left flank should be safe, given how many heroes I have. So I can just sort of double down on this right flank. If we lose a hero, that's okay. Here we go, huge combat buffs. The orc boys, they can't stall all of my range units. Nice. And then I guess the dwarf, it will send the dwarf onto the rock lobbers. He'll get there eventually and pay for himself. Nice. Yeah, here we go. All of these guys are gone. Very nice. Yeah, the cavalry shouldn't be too much of a problem. And then the rest is just cheese at infantry blob. Where's my... Where is my artillery piece? Let's fire into that real quick. Nice. Yeah, we have huge flanks everywhere. The heroes, I'm less worried about them taking damage. I think they'll be less important when it comes to the siege defense. I'd rather, honestly, just have mostly infantry. So, we're going to focus on that. Over here, it looks like cavalry's moving in. Mostly squig hoppers, though. <laughs> Some headless shaming, honestly. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do any of my other guys have no heads? I feel like that, that'd just be amazing to see. Um, here we go. Another soul fire. Another more combat buffs. I'm going to pull my range back. I don't want to get hit by those archers over there. And the dwarf is going. He's fast. He'll get there eventually. Yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. Because I think as long as this blob keeps going, we'll be good. Honestly, this is a pretty big greenskin stack to take out. This saves us a lot of trouble. I only worry about the other stacks that are incoming. Like, vampire counts are probably coming in in, uh, in a few turns, honestly. It depends on how much they beeline for you. But, um, but the empires could be a bit of a problem. Yeah, vampires could be a problem. And I sort of... I worry for the Wood Elves a little bit. Honestly, I'm a little bit less worried about the Wood Elves. I'm probably just only worried about the Counts mostly, right? Yeah. It's like the Wood Elves, like, what are they gonna do, right? They'll probably just be fighting a bunch of Dwarves, right, on their way here. Honestly, that would be amazing if they just fought the Dwarves. That would save me so much trouble. Okay, nice Reich's Guard going down. Uh, manual fire into that blob now. We are taking a lot of damage, though. I need, uh, I need like, a turn of replenishment. Yes, the fact that they siege the settlement is pretty rough. Where's the Sunmaker? We'll get there eventually. We just need Franz to get the levels. Once he's high enough level, we'll be Sunmaking it just for days, man. It, that would be huge. All right, nice. Looks like left flank is secured. And we routed them off. All we needed were 220 stacks. <laughs> or basically 220 stacks to hold off a single of theirs. But we got there. Or I think, did they have reinforcements? No, they did have reinforcements. Yeah, so. I guess they were an ambush or something. Okay. We'll have a, uh, a soul fire and bombardment soon. Franz is getting so beat up though. That's a little bit dangerous. He's really going to need to hog that uh, potion. Come on, there we go. Big soul fire incoming. And then artillery can fire here. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness. Who needs magic when you have soul fires? I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh man, the real question though is what do we do after this? Because I have to defend Altdorf, right? We can't just abandon Altdorf. Eight out of ten wa? Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Ooh, man, that artillery. This mortar is hard carrying us right now. Yeah, yeah, it was like, it was a half wa. I think all the armies are like half wa. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Because we have more. There's like two more stacks incoming after this. But I think Altdorf is a really good place to defend. And then I think what remnants of archers we have here might be able to hold off the wa armies. I think the, this guy, he's going to have to be a sacrificial goat. And he's just, he's basically just going to hold this settlement. So that the so that the greenskins don't over overrun it extremely quickly. 
But he'll basically be stuck there forever. Nice. There we go. Easiest fight of my life. <laughs> All right, let's run down whatever we can. Steam tanks take pot shots at the fleeing green skins. That's a war crime. <laughs> All right, so this this battle went okay. It went okay. We got a uh, what? Doom diver catapults. Okay, most of them are probably gonna be living. I think. Yeah, let's see here. I like this army is gonna be really beat up now. That's very good. Um, I just need time to recruit and heal though, and I don't know if the AI is gonna give that to me. I guess fingers crossed. We'll see. You can switch your lord to not lose him. Yes. Yeah, I'll probably switch him out. This guy's fairly high level. I want to keep him around. But like, look at how beat up my army is. <laughs> It's so incredibly beat up. That Doom Diver did, did a number on me. Though we did trade up. We killed uh, about almost 2,000 for 1,000 troops. I just gotta get my units. And the higher level friends can get the better. Okay. Some cash money. A little bit of cash money. We lost one unit. Zintler's Reichsguard. Right, that is huge. And we, look at that. We just, we just made space for our new regiments of renown. How perfect. All right, so I, this is, we have one army that's beat up, two armies that are beat up. We have one that is a full stack with a wall of not too much, thankfully. And then we have these guys who are actually also pretty small. There's a non-zero chance that we simply can just defend Uber Shrike. Now, it's, it's not a, it's not that much above zero, but it's definitely a non-zero chance. I like that. I like that. Um, let's go ahead and finish this. Get our second range, like our final range upgrade. And then I guess we have to finish off the dwarves. <laughs> Can these guys take Altdorf? If I put Franz in there? What does Altdorf have? Four crossbows. We'll have Franz to snipe the artillery pieces. Oh, geez, it's gonna be a close one, isn't it? We have the Zintler's Reichsguard and the Steam Tank. I think we have to do it. I think we have to take the Gambit. Because uh, if we don't, if we don't, we're just, we're just boned. Now, what I can do in the meantime, I can take this guy. And he can start recruiting crossbows in the safety of Altdorf. Then I have you... And I might have to sacrifice this guy. As cool as he is. As cool as he is. I think he just has to make the final stand here against his green tide. Now, Uber Shrike is insanely beat up. But if we can just kite them around the garrison long enough. Or just have them siege for like one turn for France to double back. That might be our out. That might be our out, guys. Let's see. What's the next uh, What's the next line of upgrades that we want? Leadership for infantry. Pretty huge. Pretty huge. Reload time is also pretty hyped, though. I think we're going to go for that. You can replace him technically. We, we need him for the combat stats. I guess he's pretty low on HP, isn't he? Yeah, he's too low on HP. It, it's probably better to just get another guy. Let's do that. Uh, Here. Congratulations. You lost the worst raffle known to man. Here we go. Grand Soulfire. He even comes packed with the Grand Soulfire. I'll take it. And then we can take... um, Yeah, we can take the Beast Slayer off of him. Man, that's some good armor, though. I think Franz wants this armor. And this guy over here. Let's see here. He can take... Uh, he can take this armor, right? Where's Heinz? We're waiting for him to show up in the recruitment pool. Heinz is a default name, so we we simply have to wait and he will show up. All right, my dude. It's all on you. Al, Al Aldebrand. Good luck. <laughs> in the meantime, we'll have friends here defending against dwarves. If they do bring both 20 sacks, that would be absolutely terrifying and it would result in uh, in the kite madness forever. But I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Here we go. Let's see it. If we can hold off these two factions, we actually have a pretty decent chance. Are these guys allied? Oh, jeez, they're allied. 
At the very least, the Petonians are gone by a long shot. The vampire counts will be pouring in soon, though. GG? There's no way it's GG. Don't you risk losing items if they die? Uh, that's sort of what I'm testing. I'm wondering if we lose our sick item there, but we'll see, we'll see. I just want one turn of replenishment with friends. Come on. Okay, they're sieging. That's a good sign. Oh, are they even sieging? It looks like they're sieging, right? Is that a siege? I think that's a siege. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a siege. Okay, come on, dwarves. Leave me alone, dwarves. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, all right. The moment of truth. Can friends and basically no units hold off against the Tide of Dwarves? Now, this is not entirely impossible. You might think it to be impossible. I think... Worst case, we retreat. We would lose a lot of guys, though. This is cheating. There's no, that's cheating. We gotta have to control large army. Alright, well, we're trying it out. We're trying it out. Here we go. If we have to retreat and lose a bunch of free company, so be it. So be it. Here we go. Franz, is, Franz has a healing item. He does have a healing item. If we just proc that, he should probably be able to take out the organ guns. After the organ guns are down, we'll be we'll be a little bit better. Of course, we have our artillery piece here. We're going to go for the maximum kite on the dwarves. Not a lot of range units, but I do have a I do have a steam tank to shoot out the organ guns. We do have Zintler's Reichsguard in the forest. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Here we go. And they're all the way over here. This is good. This is good. I have more space to kite them. This is very good. Okay, let's scoot on up here as soon as possible. So here's the plan. Here's the plan. Frames and the steam tank. With their might combined, they're gonna harass the Orden guns. Make this army move on forwards. Use the Zintler's Reichsguard to clean up any single units of miners. And then just shoot the hammers with the reinforcing uh, garrison, right? We need those crossbows as much as fast as possible. Francis healing up. And this is how much HP we have on Franz. <laughs> All right. Steam tank. It, this is this is going to be... A lot of this is going to be on the steam tank. Yeah, see the thing is we, we're already in the book, right? That is how... That is the lore of this endgame. So, you know, we can't... It can't get much worse than this. Steam tank away. And here we go. Hopefully we can get them to advance before these guys show up. Okay, get these guys positioned over here. We want to kite them towards this corner of the map. And then I'm just going to keep the artillery over there. Okay, come on. How many? Oh, yes. Yes, we got our crossbows. Oh, thank goodness we got our crossbows. That is huge. That is huge. Okay. Now we just have to get these guys to, to slow crawl towards me. One of them had to go into March stance. No, I think that's a plague. So they're actually moving slower than your usual dwarf. Big plus. Slow for a dwarf is the worst fate to have. And then, uh, yeah, no, we just we just gotta get France. So he's on cleanup duty. I'm not gonna suicide him into the artillery pieces just yet. We have to be very careful about that. And they really love this hill. You know, if they just stay on that hill forever, I'll take it. Yeah, we got a couple, we got a giant slayer and a, and a, and an iron breaker, I think, over here. Yeah, that looks like iron breaker stats. Over here, we got, we got the Zintlers. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna be, it's sort of janky how they're pouring out of this, um, area. I think we might, we might be okay. These free company are gonna have a hard time hitting those slayers, though. But if I can just pull them apart a little bit, even the slightest amount of pulling them apart, we might be able to kite them around the map pretty easily. I just need to get them to, like, really stagger their advance towards me. If they just set up a big line and march forwards, we're doomed. So, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. They're like, you know, they're having a hard time around this terrain. I call that, I call that a win. I call that a win. Look at them. The little dwarves are having a hard time moving around.
And they're moving at the speed of these slow units in the back. That is huge. It's very huge. Here we go. Giant Slayers are moving on in. Let the kiting begin. Look at that. Steam tank getting some work done. Like it. I like it. Let's see here. Yeah, and then the flagellants can get ready to overwhelm guys that get out of position. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Huge kills on the giant slayers. Now remember, we can retreat from this battle too. If we lose this, it's not completely over. So I have to make sure that I'm not just throwing away guys. Because we can fight another day. Here we go. Garrison crossbows are here. Nice. Nice. I see an exposed organ gun. The time is now for France. The time is now. It's all on you. Just don't get shot to pieces. So I got to dodge with France too. And at the same time also kite these giant slayers. Here we go. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Steam tank. Doing all right. Come on, France. Come on. If we if we lose France, it's all over. So it's super important that I kite this out well. Okay, okay. Look at that. Some blasting charges are trying to get in. Now we're, we're past the point of dodging, so I just have to beeline towards it now, which is the sketchiest part. Okay. So we're out of there. And we have a whole whack load of range units. I think I can fight those giant slayers now. Franz is in here. And as long as he doesn't take too much of a volley from those blasting charges, we're okay. Yeah, he's doing good. He's doing good. All right. Steam Tank is running away from those there Thunderers as fast as humanly possible. We do not want to take a fight there. Dang it, my archers got routed off. That's rough. Zintlers are going to start moving forwards. The other organ gun is really far forward, so that's pretty freaky. But at the very least, the Slayers are going down. I think there might be a chance. I'm seeing an opening over here. Dang it, they took out my... Uh, they took out my darn archers. That one giant slayer. I think I friendly fired super hard there. I think uh, I think that's what happened. Okay. Yeah, the slayers. Slayers are the absolute bane of the empire. All right, here we go. We begin the retreat over there. Fran's going to keep beating up that artillery piece. And we have the Zintlers in the back. Okay. Yeah, the dwarves are blobbing up pretty hard now. I think that's a very good sign. Because now I have sort of the full surround on them. And I can use that to my advantage. Sort of clean them up here. Friends, as soon as that artillery piece routes, we can basically just uh, chase it off the battlefield. No need sticking around there. Oh man, thank goodness this map is massive. Yeah, this is looking good. This is looking pretty good, I gotta say. Like, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good. <laughs> So now we have the dwarves a little bit split up, and the slayer problem has been dealt with. Now we just have to start getting these guys going into separate directions, and then we pick them off with our cavalry force. If the thunderers go into this forest, that is just an absolute win for us. It's basically a death trap. And maybe the steam tank can pick off the organ guns that were a bit smarter that moved into here. So we're going to try that out. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, friends no longer has the wizard quest battle. I'm sure, I'm sure that's just an oversight. Maybe a bug. It's a bit unfortunate though. Oh dang, oh dang. We have, uh, we have thunderers incoming. <laughs> Get out of there. We don't want to fight the thunderers. Not just yet. Okay, but this is looking good. I see some rogue hammerers over here. I think that's sort of my biggest opportunity to pick off the enemy. And then I think this Thunderer is also another really big opportunity. So the Hammerers are a little bit sketchy. No, they're just long beards. Okay, that makes things a little bit easier. But I need to get my range there to actually support before I can deal with them. This left side, I would love to take out, but we got to get aggro over there. And then, okay, we've lost the Spearmen. They served well. <laughs> if I can win this battle, that would be huge. That would be, that would be an amazing, that would be just crazy for me because we would get loads of money we would get insane amounts of experience and then i would get my recruitment and replenishment it would be crazy crazy good for me and it looks like we did manage to to get one long beard off over there that's very nice okay nice so 
Let's take a look at where it looks like the AI is honestly just fighting for the middle. I'm totally fine with that. So over here, what we want to do with France, between France and my ROR Reichsguard, they should be able to take out miners pretty efficiently. So like France goes in, gets his melee attack buff going, and then we get like a huge charge with the Reichsguard before France takes too much damage. I think this artillery piece has to retreat. I think that artillery piece is getting far too beat up. Yeah, here we go. And then see how much damage we're doing? Pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. Ooh, I would love to kill off those long beards. Not yet, though. Not yet. I'm also not liking how much damage France is taking. That's a little bit disconcerting. But this is totally fine because we routed off one minor unit. And if we can do that a couple more times, then we're fine. Knight Assassins. Oh, the only way you get Knight Assassins with, is with, like, quest stuff? Yeah. Alright, here we go. I think we have another big dive we can do here on these guys. I think, I think, I, I would love to get my crossbows on them instead, though. How about these guys? Eh, doing okay. And honestly, um, the Thunderers? No, they're being supported by melee. So we got, we're gonna keep getting out of there. Get the crossbows onto the longbeards, and then once they're once they're low enough on leadership, we can dive in with the friends. These range units are great. We might be able to pick off a couple of blasting charges there. Yeah, I think we're okay. Gap Captain John Map, hello, hello. Things are going okay-ish. They're going very okay-ish. We've distracted the dwarves over here drawn their main army into this corner of the map, which is letting us uh, sort of kite them out here. Oh man, that artillery piece. I gotta go for that. I gotta go for that organ gun. That is simply far too valuable for me to pass up. I think if I can get Franz to get into range of it, it will start targeting down Franz. And then I can dodge with them and then get my cavalry to dive on in. So let's just go straight for the throat. Here we go. Uh, let's see here. Those... Yeah, I, I gotta kill that organ gun. If Even if we lose this battle, I gotta kill that organ gun. I just have to be super careful not to lose these Reichsguard. They are so extremely important here. Oh, if it doesn't target France, that's even better, honestly. Come on. Ooh, we do have a unit of Thunderers defending it, though. Ah, oh, I think I got a bail. I think I got a bail. The Thunderers are too scary. Oh man. Oh jeez. All right. You know what? We're gonna bail. I don't want to. I don't want to get murdered by Thunderers. Let's go over here. We're back to. We're back to killing the hammers. <laughs> All right. Here we go. If I can. Uh, if I can separate those guys even a little bit, that would be great. These guys are just still on the run, cutting out those guys. All right. Here we go. Crossbows on the miners. Great. Okay, and it's firing at France now. Let's get to safety. There we go. Okay, okay. Difficulty mods? No mods. We just we just have end games at maximum. And we're doing this as total war. Okay, okay, okay. I think we can we can probably route off these long beards soon enough. And then that artillery piece, maybe we snipe it with the maybe we snipe it with the uh, with the steam tank. If we can get them down to mostly melee units, that's also a huge win for the steam tank so the steam tank has infinite steam ammo it's a little bit of a janky way to get things done but gotta do what you gotta do and pretty good charge maybe okay looks like they're bracing for the charge makes life easier okay nice i think we're in a position for the steam tank to snipe out organ gun pieces these guys are just gonna hold position for a bit because they're worried that i'm gonna charge them with my knights that makes life better for me Steam tank shot, takes out an organ gun, that's huge, that's absolutely huge, okay nice, and then I think we go for the full surround here, go for the throat, and there we go, okay, pretty good, pretty good, so we're out of range of the organ gun, these guys are evacuating over here, that's fine, the long beard, so they won't terror out, which makes them a whole lot scarier, than I would hope for. 
Oregon gun still online and operational, but we've killed one, and I think this is my opportunity to kill another. I think I think we shouldn't really try and just... I think the odds of winning this battle feel a little bit too low, but I think we can make some pretty good plays. I just hope that my knights survive this. <laughs> Because they're gonna have their they're gonna have a pretty rough time diving headfirst into this formation here. It's what's it's what's needed to be done. Franz can shut down one of the Thunderer units. That organ gun did a lot of damage, Franz. A little bit scary, a little bit scary. Okay, there we go. But we have one organ gun down. Oh my gosh. Alright, here we go. Here we go. And then I think we just, we mop up this area here, right? You know, we can get the friends to sort of beat them up a little bit. Uh, and then, and then we can probably start thinking about retreating. We'll see what else we can clean up first, though. This is not the end. Okay, nice. Fran's gonna dive in onto those, to those guys. Steam tank moving in. Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is good. How do you guys think about this situation? You think we're doing okay? I think this is okay. Oh, come on. No, what? <laughs> the organ gun killed friends. No, it remained. Oh, my gosh. All right. All right, dwarves. So this is how you want to play. <laughs> well, that is not... That is no bueno. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, that that's not good. We'll see how it goes, though. We'll see how it goes. Our guys aren't routed off the battlefield just yet. <laughs> That's just exceptionally bad, is all. That's all it is. Just a little bit terrible. What's a little bit of terror? <laughs> I can't believe it. The AI. It's too good. It's too good at the Lord Snipe. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, boy. That is, that is not good. That is not good. Now, we did kill off all the Thunderers. They're basically... They're they're really low on range now. That is the one thing that we have going for us. Oh, my gosh. The loss of friends, though. You're going to have to wait three turns for him to come back. I guess at least he'll be at full HP, but dang. That is pretty sketch. Still, though, we, we have the settlement garrison, right? What are the odds that a couple hammerers are going to attack my settlement garrison, right? We're gonna lose a steam tank too. <laughs> Come on, steam tank, live! Steam tank li living is very important. Steam tank living is extremely important here. But at the very least, they don't have much range left. I have to kill those thunderers, even if it means losing my right guard knights. We have to kill them. There we go. Okay, most of them are down. Whew. Yeah, yeah. This battle, we can't, we can't win this battle anymore. Definitely not, but we can make the door sort of suffer a little bit. I might as well use the rest of my steam tank ammunition. And then uh, and then we'll we'll take stock, right? They might siege Altdorf. Might siege Altdorf, maybe, maybe not. Like look at this. Like they only have range units and like two iron drakes. Like what are those guys gonna do in a siege battle, right? The dwarves really, really do need their range to do well. So I feel like even though we did lose Franz. We probably saved Altdorf. Franz died for Altdorf. Yeah, so. I think we'll be okay. Do I have a general in here? Let's see, we got... They don't have any blasting charges coming up, but I think I have to pull out as soon as those Iron Drakes come on in. Definitely don't want to tango with them. Get a couple shots in on those Hammerers, and then see what the Steam Tank can do. What does this guy have? Nothing too great, sadly. Honestly, though, it's not like it's it's almost winnable. If I had like my one recruit of uh, of crossbows, we would probably not be in the worst situation ever. And come on, look at this! Look at this! This is going great. This is going amazing. All right, here we go. Steam tank gonna fire at those hammerers now. Get the good fire on them. Like. Let's see. The Iron Drakes are pretty sketch, though. I will say. The Iron Drakes are definitely very sketch, but we do have some nice crossfire over here. Um, this guy might be able to kill the Iron Drakes. Operation Iron Drake Murder. Operation Friendly Fire. That's pretty good. I'll take that. I'll take a little bit of Friendly Fire action. Yeah, this guy's gonna see if he can get some, get some kills on him. 
because the dwarves can have a pretty hard time killing off heroes. So we're going to see if we can do that. Steam tank, of course, focus firing the hammers. Come on, shut them down. Shut them down. Okay, nice. We have a general in there. But I have to be a little bit careful about army losses. And I have to be very, very careful about this here steam tank. Ooh, this is a good shot. This is a very good shot. If I can get it down the pipe on these guys, that would be huge. That one unit of thunderers needs to be killed. I'm gonna chase him down. There we go. Nice. Okay. I need to kill off those thunderers. And then after that, then we're sort of okay. Come on, can I get another big shot? Big shot from the steam tank. Maybe we can kill off another unit of hammerers over here. Okay, we killed a bunch of iron drakes. I'll take that. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. This is good. This is good. We killed off basically all of their ranged. They have no more ranged. The dwarves... The dwarves are left to just flamethrowers and a million hammers. Which honestly is not the scariest thing in the world because our army is just getting slowly, slowly better at at killing off uh, at killing off melee. And then we can just kite them into oblivion. Should be fine. There we go. Honestly, Steam Tank's doing great too. Look at that. Steam Tank just rocking it. Okay, these guys gotta get off the map now. Um, these guys gotta get off the map now. Whoa, man, those flamethrowers. There goes those swords, man. And we still need a garrison back in Altdorf. That's very important. Okay, they're all gone. They're all gone. Time to get out of here. The time to skedaddle is now. Steam tank's gonna leave and I think randomly explode? No. Okay, nice. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. As long as they don't take Altdorf immediately, we're okay. Valiant defeat. <laughs> hey Rain, hello. Do you want to be a unit that's about to die? I'll set you up as uh, as maybe this archer. The loss of Franzo is so rough, but look at that. We killed like we killed eleven thousand, almost twelve or twelve hundred units for a thousand troops. That's pretty good. That was a good trade. Yeah, Rain, let's get you in there. I think we lost some guys. We lost uh Yeah, we lost Captain John Map. Uh, we kept, uh, we kept Luperdin, though. Kept Tillin. Alright. <laughs> this army's so beat up. Look at this, we have four. Come on, let me recruit. Dang, Captain John map with the five memberships? I don't have enough units for all of these guys. <laughs> Dang, thank you very much. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Well, now I got a... <laughs> Now we gotta recruit some units to add, you guys. Um, let's see here. What do we got? Here we go. Well, welcome, welcome to the army, guys. Here we go. Uh, let's see, Rain. You're in there. Dang, dang. I've never seen gifted memberships before. Thank you so much. All right, Doctor Zorg. Doctor Zorg, welcome, welcome to the land of death. Uh, let's see here, Mister Phoenix. There we go. Also, welcome. Welcome to the death. To the death crew. Exlantis. <laughs> and that's it. I think we have named characters for this entire army now. So let's go ahead and move here. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's set you up, guys. Let's set you guys up as crossbowmen. Keegan Collins. <laughs> there we go. And then uh, the last one we got. We got Min Minimaz. Oh, right. You guys are all going to die before the end of today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first things first, we have to see the green skin problem. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes, that's a big army you got there. <laughs> okay, so I don't think there's a chance we can... I don't think there's a chance we can clear that out. So plan B, plan B. Yeah, I have a, I have a, a camera mod. Honestly, I think we kill this. I think we kill this. Yeah, I think we do. I believe that we do. Um, I'm using debug camera. It's not a mod, but it's still great. Okay, I just need to get one turn of replenishment. That's all I need. That's a crazy thing about these This Is Total War challenges. The AI always sieges your settlements, and you just, you never, ever get your replenishment. 
No Bright Wizard. We don't have the quest battle. Uh, yeah, it was turn 10 or 20 crisis, and we got it on turn 10. <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. So, I, we did whittle down the dwarves, though. They're, they're down to their last men. It only took our entire army and friends, but this is like, this is actually finally manageable. Uh, debug camera's a little bit glitchier than the better camera mod. For example, if I double click while I'm really high up, you see how it zooms back in before it goes over? I assume the double camera mod doesn't have that going on. Um, but like, uh, yeah, you can also play multiplayer with this. For any of you multiplayer fans, you have, um... If you do it like this, that also that also works out pretty well. If you use the better camera mod, you won't be able to play in multiplayer. All right, here we go, here we go. Uber Strike might be doable if I have Burning Head. Yeah, if I had the Bright Wizard, it totally would would change that fight. But unfortunately, nope. So I still have to kite these guys around the map. I will not have any more crossbowmen. That is... Really? Okay, now I will have crossbowmen. Okay, that's good. We just have to be very, very ultra, extremely careful about losing the steam tank. I really, really can't afford to lose this. So we're just going to make sure that there's no rangers that pop up out of nowhere that ruin me. Going to get our crossbowmen over here. And then we're going to call the victory against the dwarves. Honestly, I think I think we're still doing pretty well despite the circumstances. The loss of friends was rough. But I think the fact that we even cleared out the dwarves and some green skin stacks is already a very good sign. Okay, nice team tank. Doing the work of the gods. And then we got a soul fire bombarder over here. Look at that steam tank doing great. And then the heroes should be pretty tanky and hard for the dwarves to kill. Nice. You saw the sacrifice of of the Emperor Great Battle, yeah. That was uh that was a crazy battle, man. What are these? Iron breakers? Yeah. Iron breakers are a bit of a pain, but as long as I can keep them blobbed up, I think we're okay. Nice, here we go. Just get in there, get the slows going. Dive in on those rangers, get the soul fire, and we're good. Oh, dang. What is that currency? UYU. It's like a woo currency. <laughs> Almost. Thank you so much. It's 450 of that. I need to see how much that actually that actually is. Uh, what's it? Thank you for the explanation. Don't get... Don't overexcite for the number. Only 10 bucks. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, thank you so much, though. 10 bucks is a lot. That is... That is more than an entire McDonald's meal. That will give me sustenance for an entire day's work. Legit though, actually. Every donation helps a lot, man. Thank you so much. Let's see here. Yeah. You're great? Okay, okay. Uh, let's see here. What, what are we doing? We gotta, we gotta make sure these flamethrowers don't cause too many issues. And I gotta make sure I don't get blasting charged in the steam tank. That would just be so sad. Hey, okay, nice. Looking good, looking good. Steam tanks on the run from the Iron Breakers. This guy's probably gonna route, but he's pretty low level anyways. Not too special. And then... Focus fire the hammers as soon as those guys are down. Okay, yeah, so this battle's won. Sustenance, yeah, good old delicious, delicious sustenance. You know how many bags of milk that is? I guess like a good... That's enough milk to last me like a week. It's amazing. Okay, nice. Artillery can fire over here. And then more longbeard kills. Oh, come on. Don't don't hit him with the blasting charges. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a problem. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a minor problem. It's a minor, minor problem. Now. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, oh, I got distracted by the milk discussion. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's not the end of the world yet. It's not the end of the world yet, okay? We do have a plan B. Now, first of all, I will say, 
if we get wrecked here, we have the turn 10 restart point. Because I think there's ways we could have played this better. And then starting back on turn 10 seems pretty great. Um, but also, also, uh, we might be able to recruit a second steam tank soon anyway. So we'll sort of see. We'll sort of see. <laughs> Dang. Dang. The blasting charges of all things. Oh my gosh, there's a non-zero chance that we lose this battle because of that loss now. That's so bad. Oh my gosh. Alright. We'll see though, we'll see. Whew. Yeah, yeah, no, of course I'm Canadian. Yeah, 100% born in Canada. Born and raised in Canada. Though my parents were from Vietnam. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oh my gosh. A loss of the steam tank is a rough one. That's a hard pill to swallow. Oh my goodness. These hammerers too are vicious. Bloody, bloody vicious. They'll go down eventually, but I think I got a crossbow fire though. Oh my goodness. My condolences on being Canadian. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Alright, here we go. Let's pull these guys back. Hammer should go down in but a second. The other unit of hammer should go down in a second. And then I have to find a way to burn these um, blasting charges. I think if I just send my lord into them, that should do it. Yeah, we're going to win this battle, but not without tremendous loss. That was painful. That was painful. I will say. At least we have our artillery piece. It's not like the iron drakes are going to kill that, right? Right. Uh, let's see here. How's this guy doing? I'm gonna pull him back a little bit before the hammerers end him. And back in. Back and delay those iron drakes. Uh, these guys are just gonna distract these iron drakes. No need to fight them more than I have to. Nice. Nice. <laughs> this battle's so sketchy now. Get out of there. Don't fight the Dwarf Lord. Don't fight the Angry Dwarf Lord. Oh my gosh. Iron Breakers. Do they let off at all? How much do you have left to deal with the Lord? Honestly, not that much ammunition. I probably need the Steam Tank for that, didn't I? I might, I, I might just restart to see how the Steam Tank does. Oh, man. Oh, it's so close. Between the loss of friends and losing out on recruiting and losing every single crossbow that I held dear to me. This is pretty sketch. I might be able to kill off the Lord. I might. This is like a really close one. I, I think I can. I might be able to scrap this out. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> the blasting charges, though, are so vicious. They're so incredibly vicious. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out. Let's skedaddle. How many crossbows do I have left? I have like a hundred. There we go. Iron Drakes are finally shut down. Man, if I had Franz here, he would have dominated with his healing potion. He would have crushed it. Are you going to rematch on Legendary? Or is that also blocked? Uh, I, I'm going to... If if it goes south enough, I'll probably roll back to turn 10. And then try again from there. Because I think we had a really good start. Um, and then turn 10 is sort of where the turning points happen. Because we missed a couple points where I could have recruited more crossbows. Um, and I think that obviously would have helped us a ton. But it's not over yet. Look at this guy. He's got the soul fire and bombardments going. These iron, <laughs> these iron breakers are out to kill everything I hold dear. They've killed my steam tank. They've killed my crossbows. Now they're going to kill my... Now they're going to kill Luperdin. Come on. Look, at least I have my general. Man, the guy, this guy being level 20 is, is so scary. I think with cycle charging, he might be a little bit easier to deal with. Oh, the distraction swordsman. The distraction swordsman. Oh my gosh, it actually made it there. The heroes. They're heroes. Turn the artillery fire. We have, we actually have enough ammunition here, I think. Um, I just have to be exceptionally careful. No lingering. And this guy's going to have to be a huge pain in the butt for the dwarves. Whew. Whew. Okay, yeah, yeah. My general's going to clean up. He's going to clean up shop. This guy's off the map soon. Hopefully we don't get army losses from that. But uh, I think this guy... No, not this guy. Can I unhotkey him? 
Okay, you know what? Sure. This guy over here, he's going to finish off the Iron Drakes. We have the artillery piece for these guys. And then I have the, my dwindling crossbowmen to finish off this dwarf general. Long as he doesn't dodge, we'll be okay. And every single shot matters here. Uh, let's see. Artillery piece probably has to pull back here. And this guy's going to be a tanky fella, though. He's going to be incredibly, incredibly tanky. <laughs> Come on. Oh, finally, the other guy routed off the map. I think... Because we do have... Um, we do have soul fire bombardments, which are good. This guy has no armor piercing, though. So he's taking forever to kill the iron drakes. Honestly, friends would have... Friends would have been sick. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Melee attack boost. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yep, Sigmar, Sigmar is going to be even more with you in a second. He just, he just wait and see. <laughs> Come on, get out of there. Okay, nice. That's another Iron Drake down. Okay, they're finally gone. Jeez Louise. No more Iron Drakes. We've whittled down the Dwarf Miner faction to their last legs. This is it. They got nothing left after this, guys. <laughs> and we still have this guy with the good old Soul Farm Bombardment. The one range damage. Gonna be great. And then uh, maybe I can burn off their blasting charges here. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Nah, they're gonna dodge. That's fine, though. That's fine. Let's see. Fire it well off for you guys. And then let's finish off those hammerers. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Aren't all dwarves minor factions? <laughs> Jeez. This is why this this is why they they even have an end game man. <laughs> Sick and tired of your dwarf jokes. All right, there we go. That's one long beard unit down. Very nice. Iron Drake's coming on in to end my artillery crew. Not today. Not today. That that long beard held to the last. All right, nice soul fire. Pretty good. And then I just have to figure out how to kill off this guy. It's like the easiest thing in the world. Oh come on, don't you dare! Come on, anything but the crew. Okay, well you know they technically lived. Um, some of them died, but uh, you know a lot of them lived. I'll take it. <laughs> I do have a decent amount of ammo. It's not like I can't do some damage to this lord. Um, it's more that I have to get every single artillery shot to kill off the the iron breakers. That's a bit more of a problem here. Yeah, losing the steam tank was bad. Uh, we had this one with the steam tank. Between France and the steam tank, those are two pretty big misplays. <laughs> Uh, and by pretty big misplays, I mean some of the most massive missteps I could have possibly made this campaign. That's probably the re if, if we do end up restarting, that would be why. But uh, but still, we, we might be able to stabilize here. It really depends on what other armies actually show up in the, in the short term. Dang it, these guys are too good at dodging. Ah, oh, come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's just it's zero dwarves. It's literally zero dwarves. Okay, there we go. He's fine. <laughs> the body block, the dwarven body block. Now, funnily enough, this artillery piece, there's only like five crew left, but it's just enough to keep this afloat. Okay, nice. So, oh boy, let's get over here. You know what? I'm just going to finish off the... Well, actually, I need, a, I need to have my lord to finish off the iron drakes. My archers are, aren't going to do anything against them. Here we go. A little bit of juke in action. Slow that bad boy down. He's not slowing down. He's still fast. Okay, there we go. He's out of the picture. And then finally, boom. Just like a bunch of bowling pins. So one more Iron Drake left. Got to finish him off. Pull here. Okay. We successfully outmaneuvered the Dwarven Lord. There we go. Let's ping pong him around. We'll get him eventually. He's 15 health. Here we go. And yeah, there we go. Nope, he's still alive. 15 health. Come on, you got this. You got this, Alboraz. You got this. It's just one iron, Drake. Dang, he's having a hard time. 
By Ulrich's roof. Come on. Just just one iron drake. <laughs> you know what? We'll kill him with the soul fire. I don't care anymore. Jeez. <laughs> I've never had such a problem killing one iron drake. Did he live? There's no way. 10 HP. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I know that armor. The dwarves. Man, they're just they're built different. They just build different. <laughs> this guy. He's the tankiest dwarf alive. He he actually fired at my lord. <laughs> okay, well that this just can't stand. This just can't stand. And there we go. <laughs> is knock him like 50 feet back jeez yeah he should be promoted for sure okay oh are you gonna dodge all right ai i should have known the legendary difficulty dodge all right here we go so this ammo i need it to kill this guy i i need that ammo i just i can't i can't do it without it so what we have some long beards over here not the worst, not the worst. We can get a sort of side shot on them and disengage. If I keep sort of doing that, that's okay. These guys can sort of pull away over here. Okay, yeah, nice. The Longbeards are basically dead at this point, right? Yeah, Longbeards are basically dead. So let's go over here and then finish off these guys. So if I can blob them up, I have two mortar shots. I have my Lord. He can sort of keep them in their position. I have a slow, and that's basically like that's my guaranteed uh that's my guaranteed mortar hits, right? So here we go, here we go. Dodge this. Mortar gonna fire in. It's gonna take him out. No problem. I got a bit too close. Got a tiny little bit too close. Gonna have to reposition that mortar. <laughs> Yeah, the Iron Drake. That one Iron Drake was a total hero. Uh, you know what? Maybe we kill these guys with the, the Soul Fires. I guess I should get my Archers and start whittling down their Lord while I'm here. The Soul Fires are a little bit more cost efficient. Technically, any battle against melee units is winnable off of Soul Fires only. But it would take years. It would just take ages. So, preferably it doesn't come to that. There we go. And how good is this guy at dodging? Uh, he is shielded, which makes life a little bit harder, but we'll be getting a little bit of poke damage versus him. I think that's fine. This guy's so fast. He's so fast. There we go. Okay, nice charge. Nice charge. Yeah, look at that. A little bit of poke damage. <clears throat> a little bit of getting hit by the dwarf. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit sketch. A little bit sketch. This is going to be a close battle, guys. I have a little bit of ammo left. The crossbows do actually have pretty good ammo. I just got to make sure this bad boy lives. This crossbow got to get close. And then I have to deal with this iron breaker. It's just, he, they're just always in the way. It makes life so much easier as soon as they're dealt with. Come on, come on, you darn artillery piece. Just fire. Fire. Oh, now they fire, now that they're moving. All right, there we go. I think that hits. Oh, no. That's so painful. That's real painful. All right, here we go. Oh, no, no, not again. Come on. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, we're safe. Not even close. <laughs> the dwarves, they be tenacious. Almost killed one model. Yeah, yeah, it's it glorious. All right, here we go. Artillery, get over here. Get ready to fire. Stall them with my lord. Get the slow. They're not moving. Artillery's safe. And then all we have to do is sit and wait for the artillery to fire. There we go, they finally fire. It's gonna go ahead and... Yeah, yeah, look at that. Get wrecked. <laughs> look at that value. They they don't even look at the explosion. They're too cool. They're just running away instead. <laughs> all right. All right. So now all we got to do is soul fire cheese these guys. 
and then get the crossbows on the Lord, and then we're one. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! All right, there we go. We're fine. There we, there we go. <laughs> why? Why? Every time I do, every time I play a friends challenge campaign, there's always just. There's always a game where I'm kiting dwarves with soul fire and bombardment. It's just inescapable. It's, it really is. Oh man, yeah, cool guys run away from explosions. Where's my boy Heinz? We're waiting for him to show up in the recruitment pool. He should eventually, unless he removed him. There we go. Get wrecked. The big soul fire. We finally killed off those guys. Very nice. Okay, nice. It's the beginning of the end for these guys. They don't know what's gonna hit them. Prepare to get shot by about 200 crossbow bolts. And that's about it. Maybe some maybe some archer arrows too. Oh, he doesn't even know what he's doing. He's dancing. Yeah, that's right. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Big crossbow volley. Big, big crossbow volley. Let's get these guys nearby too. Now this guy, he has 600 HP. That means two shots from this guy and he's dead. So, I gotta be real careful about how I take that engagement. These crossbows can get into position over here. And just gotta route off this guy. Now, <laughs> I'm not killing him with soul fire bombardments. At that rate, it'd be faster to just restart this entire campaign. <laughs> kind of fun to watch, IMO. It's interesting. Yeah. Well, there's no way I kill this guy, though, right? I don't know if I have an easy way to kill him. Come on, crossbows, you got this. I do have a slow, which is pretty hype. Yeah, here we go, big crossbow volley. Here we go, we got the other crossbow showing up. Yeah, what are you gonna do about this? You're too slow. Your legs are too short. Yeah, that's right. Look at the damage. Did he just land a hit? Thank goodness. <laughs> okay, yeah, here we go. Maybe one more volley. Can I feign a charge on these guys? Nope. Yep. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is it. This is peak gameplay right here. Run for your lives. <laughs> Run for your darn lives. Don't you dare change formations. What are you doing? That's a lot of ammo lost. Uh, let's see here. At least we have a soul fire in like. Okay, stop running that way. <laughs> Change of formation. Go over here. Get the soul fire. Run for your life. Okay, there we go. We didn't lose too many crossbows. We only we only lost we only lost maybe like 10% damage, right? <laughs> here we go. Okay, so that's one archer out of ammunition. And then we gotta clean up these guys. Now we can get at least a couple charges into them. I'm just not a fan of this guy. This guy's a problem. I need to be so on point about my... He's taking like tens of damage for volley. I have to be so on point with how I deal with him. Because he's like, he's a speedy fellow. He has 40 speed? Since when? <laughs> Does he have Foe Seeker? What's going on? No, he, just, he just had 40 speed from charging, I guess. He only has... Oh, no, he does have Foe Seeker. Okay. Yeah, the Foe Seeker. A little bit terrifying. A little bit terrifying. That's what I get for calling him short. All right, here we go. These Iron Breakers, they will eventually go down. And then I have to land sort of just the best cycle charges I've ever had. And then just bog this guy down with infantry. If I can ensure that my Lord never gets hit for the rest of the game, then we're fine. Here we go. Slow should be good, too. Get that slow action. Yeah, here we go. 22 seconds. Speed him up a little bit. Okay, nice. We're set for a soul fire. Here we go. Big soul fire incoming. Yes. No! <laughs> Alright, here we go. So we're at the stage of the battle where we can basically just focus on the soul fires. And that's gonna be about... A minute and a half for each one. This guy has the Foe Seeker. He's a menace. But I think I'm just barely faster than him. The Foe Seeker is terrifying. He's actually killing my guys now. Okay. Alright, you know what? 
Maybe I can charge him in the back. Oh, yeah. There we go. The big play. That's a big hit in the back. Can I get another one? He's too busy chasing my archers. He doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, get out of there. Ooh, this is a strat. This is a strat. Look at this. The guy, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's attacking my archers. Yes. This is the play that I need. Okay, nice. Bait him out. This is the new strat. So you bait him out with the archers, right? You have him chasing one of your infantry units. And then you just get free charges on his back. And then you soul fire and bombardment down the other guys. Oh my goodness, he's turning around. Okay, we're good. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, he doesn't even see him. Yeah. All right. Uh, gotta keep him chasing. Yeah, as long as he doesn't hit my lord, we're fine. Here we go. Get these guys back and firing. Yes, general. Woo. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Let's turn these guys and run. He's gonna attack them, but not before he gets hit in the back first. Very nice. Very nice. He's gonna turn around. This is it. This is it. This is the ultimate cheese. You just gotta... You just gotta hit him in the back. Yeah, we're embracing the legend strats. I, I did say I my, my cheese would scale up the further behind we got. And I did just lose a steam tank in France, so... No, don't you dare. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> we have just enough time to disengage before he gets in there. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah, this battle will last till the end times. We're hitting him for roughly 100 damage a pop. So, about 35 more of those, and then we're, and then we're there. There we go. Take 1 million. Yeah, he's distracted. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Sick. Yeah, that did like almost 200 damage. It's massive. Oh, yeah. He's, he's going back in. Yep. Okay, he lands a hit. That's okay. Let's keep running away. Oh, yeah. We're chunking him now. We're chunking him now. He, he's he's going to rout soon. <laughs> Restarting might be faster. I have to win this battle just... Just off of principle. I, I've worked too hard. Sunk cost fallacy pushes me to win this fight. There we go. Like, honestly, had we restarted, I would have just won this battle by now. But I think this is just better. I like this reality more. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. We got the uh, we got the Grand Hammer of Sigmar incoming. Honestly, he, he's getting pretty low. He, we already took off 600 HP since we last checked. Yeah, it, it's a principle. It's a principle. You gotta show these dwarves who's boss. There we go. Hit him in the vigor. Not like he were not already all at zero. Pull away so that he re-engages my, my dudes. There we go. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Whew. Okay, there we go. He lands a hit on my infantry, but we're, we're getting more damage on him than he is against us. Battle, nope. Not even close. Not even close. <laughs> the tension. The tension that comes with this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're one hit away from dying. <laughs> we are about a single hit away from dying. I feel like I should get my... Uh, I feel like I should soul fire and bombard these guys first. I feel like I should. I think that's probably uh, that's probably the more efficient way of doing this. Let's do that first. I feel like that's important. You used to see the bodies on the hill. Oh my goodness. He's about to rout. Nah, not even close, man. This guy's got leadership in spades. In spades. Look at that. 19 leadership. It's huge. Huge. He's insane. Okay. Now this guy's going to keep chasing my guys. That means I can bounce back to him. Here we go. Here we go. Slow down these guys a little bit. Okay. Okay. So I just got to be real close. Got to be tantalizingly close. I got to be like right... No! No! Okay, we're good. We're good. We just got... We got... We got tickle his fancy a little bit. Man, the AI is getting smarter. 
It's adapted. It's learning. Okay, nice. His back is turned. That's a good charge. That's a good charge. Get out of there. Yeah, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's another good one. That's another good one. Oh yeah, yeah. He's re he's he's considering. Come on, come on, you darn dwarf, Riagra. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a risky charge. Huh? Oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good. This is why multiplayer has rules, guys. Oh, imagine playing as a dwarf in multiplayer, and this is this is what they do to you. I guess you would just constantly chase the Lord, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, nice. Whittled him down another uh, 400 HP. That's good. That's another 400 I don't got to deal with anymore. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, Belgar is a ways away. Belgar has to push through probably the Wood Elves before he gets to me. Loaded, sir. Quick march. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another soul fire on these guys. How much damage you guys reckon? They're at 3,085. 3, 3,085, eh? Not that much HP. 3,085. Come on. Yeah, here we go. Down to, uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're never gonna win this. <laughs> it did 30 damage. It did 35 damage. All right. Back to killing the Lord. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that did so little damage. Yeah, only 100 more of those. A hundred minutes? If we times four his speed, we can technically win it in like 15 minutes, right? <laughs> Here, if we kill off the Lord, remember, army loss is still on the table, right? They could still get army loss. Let's not forget. Let's not forget. These guys are on the ropes, okay? They're they're struggling, these dwarves. They be, they be struggling. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're close. We're closing in. Tantalizing. We just gotta... Here we go. Bait him in. Bait him in a little bit. Turn around. Get the combat buff. Attack him. Run for your life. Get the buff. I said run for your life. Okay, there we go. There we go. Couple more of those. Yeah, 30 more charges and like 100 more soul fires. These guys don't know what's coming for them. Yeah, here we go. Bait him out. Oh, no. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Just wait for him to turn against these guys. We got the angry mob behind him now. Yeah. He's given up. He's given up on the angry mob. We can just uh we can just chase him. Kill him with archers, maybe. Kill him with the soul fire and bombardments, maybe. Yeah, that was a waste of a soul fire. Okay, okay, okay. He threw down some sort of debuff. No, that's me, I think. Another hit, another trade. Okay, here we go. We have him nicely aggroed right now. We have him really nicely aggroed. Yeah, yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh, ah, I could have gone that charge. I could have gone that charge. Oh, I'm dead. I lived. <laughs> Did he get hit? Oh, dang, he got hit. Come on, use your charge bonus. You got this. Come on, come on, you got leadership. Yeah, if I just keep them charging, we have leadership. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. It's another hit. We're gonna lose this. We're gonna lose this. If, if I just keep his charge bonus leadership going, he's not gonna route. He's not gonna route. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I just have to keep my coin. Come on. Come on, you darn Arch Lector. You've trained your entire life for this. Oh, come on. Don't you dare route. Don't you dare route. Keep that leadership together, man. <laughs> come on. No. 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 Well, it's a fun stream today, guys. It was fun. <laughs>
<laughs> I think tomorrow... Tomorrow I have a tournament that I'm going to be playing. But the next time we get to this stream, we're going to restart back at 10 minutes. Because I think we actually have a pretty decent shot. Um, I had a few turns where I missed my recruitment. And then obviously we need to keep friends and the steam tank alive. Hmm. And then if we can do that, then we'll be okay. Oh my gosh. Is he going to siege? Yeah, he sieges. What a... Oh my goodness. But yeah, I think if we can do that, then we're fine. Because, <clears throat> like, look at this. This is not, like, the scariest army. I think we can totally... We can totally win this with, like, a, a few more crossbows and pistoliers. And then, like, we'd have friends with the healing. We can mop up a lot of these armies. We get, like, maximum level. And then we can start focusing on, uh, let's see here. On these guys. The so regiments of renown. Like, Sunmaker is huge. Roll Altdorf Griffites. All of these will be great. So, we're going to do a take two next time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And I will see you later. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Peace.